Hello fellow homebrewers, JP here, and I want to introduce to you the brand new Brewbuilt X1 Conical Series available at More Beer. More Beer sells the highest standard in homebrewing equipment, and the Brewbuilt Conicals are just that. They're made from mere polished 304 stainless steel, and they come with loads of features that you and I have been looking for. They have a full 2-inch bottom dump valve, which will eliminate your clogging issues, while the sturdy base includes four reinforced legs, just like those big pro tanks do. More Beer also carries the Brewbuilt line of options and add Add-ons like casters, pressure kits, and even external glycol chillers. So you can find out more about the new Brewbuilt X1 Conical Uni Tanks by going over to morebeer.com for detailed videos on the entire line of Brewbuilt Conicals. You can trust Brewbuilt with your next fermentation, and you can trust More Beer to find the right conical for you. Brewbuilt at morebeer.com. in my mouth and it just wasn't going down. My first beer was an IPA. The best IPA I've ever drank. Mostly because I brewed it. If you have a scale that is good for measuring cocaine, you're probably good for measuring hops on cocaine. You're scaring me. <laughs> I think the information is awesome and the audio sucks. Make right. some sugary water, throw some yeast in there. And you're going to drink good beer. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's fine. God damn it, man. Oh my God. Oh, uh-oh. Now, live from the Brewing Network Studios in Northern California, this is the radio program for home brewers, craft brewers, beer lovers, and beer geeks. It's your only source for live beer radio that brings expert brewers together with well, expert drinkers. This is the radio program with a head on it. This is the session. Ow! Man, whose stupid idea was 12 o'clock broadcasting? Anyway, some jerk with a, with a jerk thing. Good answer, JP. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, I can hardly tell that you've been broadcasting as long as you have. You just, uh, you're a real pro. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Welcome to the program, everybody. It's the first ever BN Bowl. It's our Super Bowl Sunday special. And uh, what a dumb idea. <laughs> Was this your idea, Shat? Not my idea. <laughs> but I'm up for it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. I just don't function well, you know, Ever. until like 2. Yeah. You know, I, I just... Doesn't matter when I wake up, it takes hours for me to function. Did you I have just, coffee? I just barely got all the phlegm out of my throat. No coffee? I did have coffee. I had two cups. A little Baileys in there? No, I didn't. Jameson? Know, I didn't know we had any. Oh. That's where you went wrong. Oh. Let's get this party started, buddy. Yeah, you should have told me. All right, I'm ready to go. I am ready. I'm excited. Okay. It is the first ever BN Bowl. And, should we start uh, the, the show over again? Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I don't think you From really knew what you were getting into. It's, uh, the, I think, I think it's only appropriate. Yeah. No, no, we don't have to go through all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be exciting today, and I, I really don't know how this is going to play out, but, uh, thought it would be a good idea if we got a couple of brewers to represent the teams that are in the Super Bowl. So with us today, and we'll be getting them on the show and the program in about a half an hour, uh, we are going to welcome Dave Yarrington, representing New England from, uh, Smutty Nose Brewery in New Hampshire. Uh, he will be our Patriots. So to speak, uh, of the of the BN Bowl, and then Chris Sheehan of Chelsea Brewing in uh, New York, Manhattan to be exact, and these two are going to compete in the first ever BN Bowl. Is the guy from Smutty Nose going? Does he record the guy from Chelsea Brewing or what? Yes, he has. Uh, <laughs> he he listens in <laughs> and figures out exactly what's going on down there at Chelsea. Did you get that, Shat? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's also another special event going on today. It's a very it exciting day around the Brewing Network. It's not just the first ever BN Bowl, and I hope this becomes a, a heck of a tradition. Uh, it's also producer Shat's big 3 0. Oh! Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Shat turns, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shat turns 30 today, you old fat bastard. <laughs> I will drink 30 beers today. Yeah. You heard it first. You don't look a day over 85, you <laughs> jerk. Thank you. You probably will drink 30 beers today. Uh, little, little beers. Well, you're definitely, 
<laughs> you are definitely going to be our drunk of the week. I, we, there's no way around it. Well, right. I don't know. We're going to have a house full of people. We'll see. So what? Oh, you think yeah. that somebody might sneak sneak by? Oh, sure. Well, drug of the week. I mean, you know, they're going to be here for the for the for the game, right? Uh, so this is for the for the just air. for the game. Yeah, not not the beer, not the food. Just hey, for the Chet, game. your first birthday present here. Oh, tasty, McDolsky. tasty McDole coming on in. Go ahead and unwrap them. <laughs> oh, so we do have a JP. couple of things uh, planned for you, McShat, and uh, happy that you're celebrating your birthday. I'll tell you what, I know this is very different than a normal show. You don't have to do any producing today. Oh, a break! <laughs> Beautiful. So it's just like every show. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in other words, <laughs> just sit there like a fat load, like you always do, and drink. <laughs> Thirty. Are you Are you feeling it? I'm not. No. I'm not. No, I feel fine. Yeah. Should I be feeling it? Well, you look like shit. I felt it. That's yeah. That's true. I wasn't happy about it at all. No, no. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. We'll Especially see. Sully's in the room, so now I don't feel so bad. Yeah, everyone... I feel uh, very young. I guess Pacheco time and <laughs> is like 10 minutes after regular time. Sully yeah. and Steph here. Doc's not here yet. People just rolling in. Nobody likes the 12 o'clock start time. So hang on, hang on, Steph. i got to turn microphones on for yeah, you. Yeah, Steph. Go ahead. We actually just saw Doc. He was a couple cars in front of us, and he turned into McDonald's <laughs> on the way up here. Oh. Egg um, McMuffin. I'll wow. have a chat with him about He's that. He's in the menu here. Let's lock the door. What's he doing going? To, what's he doing to patronizing that place, that evil place, before he comes here? It's too much. It's too much for me. Tasty, what'd you bring us to drink? I mean, hi and everything, <laughs> but what'd you bring us to drink? Uh, we can't... Uh, well, I brought a uh, a Belgian pale ale, but it's not, it's under carbonated. I miscalculated how carbonated it was. Get Shake out, it up. Get out of here. Go. Shake it up. It'll be fine. So, uh, it's cold, so maybe you guys won't be able to notice. All right. Well, Shat wants us to use the urinal. He's never used the urinal tap before. Yeah. So uh, we'll have to get something going on there at yeah. some point. Oh, wow. Sully brought us a uh, giant head keg can of Heineken. And the same and, shirt he was uh, wearing yesterday. Oh, he looks like he's got some other tasty juice. You, uh, it's, you gotta support the, the can brewers. So I brought the big can. <laughs> Plus they were a, uh, they were a sponsor back in the day. We were on that other station. Yeah. And, well, that went well. So I figured. Yeah. That <laughs> did go well. So. All right. So we got a lot of things going on today. Uh, like I said, Dave Yarrington from Smutty Nose in New Hampshire. He's going to be on the line with us. And also Chris Sheehan from Chelsea, uh, out of Manhattan. And they'll be a part of our first ever BN Bowl. If you got questions for these guys about their beer and anything they're doing, we will do a bit of a normal interview. So 888-401-BEER. That's our number. 888-401-BEER. And, uh, yeah, you can also join JP in the chat room because Bevo is not here today. Hi. Yeah, so JP uh, is in there. Just hit the chat now button. You don't have to use a password or anything. You don't even have to register. Just type a name in and enter and hang out with the fellas. Looks like there's a lot of people hanging out today. Uh, people like the early start time uh, if you're a listener. It's just the broadcasters who don't like the 12 o'clock start time. Was this your stupid idea, Tasty? <laughs> I believe it was. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I will so. say it does smell better in here today. Did you take a, everybody showered up or something? Everyone sh- yeah, I don't know what that's about. Uh, we did do some cleaning. Oh, that's it, maybe. Been a lot of cleaning going on around here. Yeah. Shampooed the carpets. Oh, it was getting a little dank oh. in here. You know, I walked in the door just now, <clears throat> and uh, the place looks like it's set up to watch the Super Bowl, but there's no TV in that room. <laughs> oh, you need a TV? Yeah, it's that's well, the way it works. We're I don't bringing know in a radio. We're doing a puppet show. Let me tell you, this it's kind of a Super Bowl party around here afterward. You know, when the show's over, we're all going to hang, and it's Shat's birthday, and we're doing that whole thing. But uh, it's got to be the gayest Super Bowl party I've ever seen. Here's what I wake up to today. I wake up, I got... <laughs> I got Schumann and Shat rocking out to the Carpenters <laughs> and the Bee Gees, and they're vacuuming and they're moving furniture around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's going on out here? I I I participated in this whole feminine Super Bowl party too. I made an all vegetarian chili. So I got JP wow. giving me JP and Shat both giving me shit about that. Partly did it for you, Steph. Oh, thanks. Well, because everyone's like, "Oh, I'm bringing this, I'm bringing that," and everything <laughs> they're bringing is slabs of meat. Oh yeah. That so I thought, listen, you got to have chili at a yeah. Super Bowl party. So I made an all vegetarian chili. You're in touch with your feminine side yeah, on I, Super Bowl Sunday. They go hand in hand. And it's made with beer too. I put beer. In oh it. well, but IPA, uh, IPA a la Shat. In a can. 
IPA. No. no. Well, it looks like you have something going on after the show today out there. The way the whole place is cleaned. It lo- you know, I watched the Super Bowl pre stuff today because I never watch sports and I figure I probably should just start now. <laughs> Get involved. Get and it looked like, you know, the way that field looks like right now. When nobody's there. Yeah. And you're getting ready for the game. It's the field is well groomed. Yes. And and you're right. We did forget <laughs> the television. And so am I. So uh yeah, I don't know what a feminine uh Super Bowl party is gonna it be. It is pretty bad. Yeah. Jay Brew came down to hang out with us. Yeah. What's happening, well, brother? Not much. Do I have Just your microphone on? No, I don't think you do. Oh, he the- Hello, is that there it is. Stupid face. Face. I'm that. drinking some of oh, some of Shad's delicious Hellas on right. his birthday. Oh good for you. <laughs> so uh <laughs> That's really great for you. <laughs> good for you, Jay Brew. Yeah. We got gifts for Shat, I think, later. And Sully, yeah. you and I have a gift we have to open. Oh yeah. And there's a gift here for Bevo from a listener if she ever shows up. Lots of gift giving today. A right, couple of uh, no, I don't want to do it right now. Right. Let's do it later. Couple of announcements. Uh, of course, the donation page is up. Got a lot of response to my uh, talk. I thought it was a talk about the donations last time we were on. Yeah. Apparently, it was a, a wine and a wine session and a guilt trip. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I didn't feel like it was a guilt trip. I think I said, you know, if you can, you should. And if you if you can't, don't. Well, I don't think that's a guilt you trip. You know, I heard it, and you kind of ranted a little bit. Uh, but you're Justin, and you're going to do that. But to that's me, I just, I, I, I just said it's like KQED. It's like a public radio station asking for, you know, you hold up the programming of the show for a half an hour. Yeah. So people have to throw down the money so you can start the show back up again. Am I not supposed to do that? I like, was it bad? No, I think it's fine. I think you should do that. I, mean, I, don't, I don't do it often. I didn't think it was bad, but I get a bu- I mean, people responded well. They go, yeah, okay, I'm donating. But they all, you know, they wrote to me and said, uh... Okay, your guilt trip worked. I feel really bad. I'm donating. And I don't want anybody to no. feel bad and donate. No. That's them giving a guilt trip to you. So who cares? Don't worry about those jerks. Passive aggressive bastards. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was great. It was the positive, same, made all the good points. I the, liked it. The same thing happens to Rick Steves on <laughs> PBS with his travel thing. He's, He's like, always misunderstood. People are yelling at him because yeah. they they can't watch the show in Tuscany. I see. And uh, so they throw down the money and. Everybody's happy. All right. Well, anyway, the donation page is there. If you'd like to sign up for recurring donations, feel free to do so. And it's anywhere from two bucks to like a hundred bucks a month if you if you happen to be uh, independently wealthy. And uh, yeah, if all you donated two bucks, uh, the programming would get a hell of a lot better around here. I could hire somebody other than JP, for example. What? Nothing. Uh, New items in the store. Hats are going up this week. Woo! You want a hat, Sully? I need one because i got a big head and I have to contain it. I think I have big hats. Good. I've got a couple of different styles of hats, and one of them is definitely a big one. You know, you never really <laughs> hear from the big head people. It's, it's always the big shirt yeah. guys. You're, I'm going to need four X's. So it's I'm gonna true need because, this or that. because nobody, nobody's proud of having a big head. Yeah. They don't call in and go, hey, you know, oh, right. those of us with giant heads would yeah. really like some hats. They, like a seven and seven ace, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know, but you know what they say if you have a big head. No. It's hard to find hats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a jackass. <laughs> I, I'm going to work on that punchline. <laughs> okay, good. So, new uh, hats. Hey, look at uh, this guy. Big feet guys took all the fun. The hats aren't up yet, but they will be up this week. And I got a couple of different sure. styles. So, all BN Army. You got some camo in there. You got some black hats. You got some trucker hats. You got, you got some variety going on. So, uh, I, look, uh, I look forward to it. Did you bring us our um, our Strong Beer Month poster? Yes. You did? It's in the car. I don't know if you listeners have seen that in the forum or if you go to strongbeermonth.com. Sully's, <laughs> Sully and his boys did an awesome parody of the uh, it was a Highway to Hell yeah, album ACDC. cover. Yeah, it came out great. He's all decked out in the shirt and everything yeah, right yeah. now, too. So you brought us a full-size poster? Yes. Sweet. We're going to hang that in the studio. Uh, what else do I have for announcements? AHA memberships. Got a lot of questions about that. I'll cover that a little more during feedback. But you can sign up for the American Homebrewers Association through the Brewing Network store. And uh, you should be doing this anyway. You all should be members of the American Homebrewers Association. Uh, you do get Zymergy Magazine. You get discounts at pubs. Pays for itself. Uh, but on top of that, you know what? It's the, it, it is the Homebrewers Association uh, in the U.S. And it really kind of uh, links us all together. They put a lot of events on for us. And uh, they kind of go to bat for us when it's important too in politics and 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 when it's necessary so you all should be supporting uh the american homebrewers association and you can do that by signing up through our store so check that out and i'll just you know you sign up it's the same price as doing it through the aha and i send you a card you go online you're registered next thing you know you're getting zymergy magazine it's a piece of cake so you should do that 
uh, I might add you get a discount on the national conference if you... Uh, if ah, the member. NHC. Yeah. What's that GABF. discount like? It's pretty significant. I mean, it's it's when if you if it's easier to it's more economical to join if you're going than not to join. So why not join through the, the, this it, website? It, it kind of pays for itself. Yeah. Hey, doc's here. Hey, I so heard, does that? I heard you uh, stopped off at the McDonald's. Oh, I had to. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, of I all can, places. How, how many? Where else is there a drive-through around here? How many Big Macs did you drive into your face? Uh, uh two cheeseburgers. Yeah, two cheeseburgers. I, I was taking care of the kids this morning. In fact, that's why I'm late. I had to drop them off to do the switcheroo with the wife. Oh yeah, they have indoor soccer this morning or this afternoon. So. I see. Uh, Indoor soccer. Yeah, that sounds really manly. You know what? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing to these kids? You're pansying them up. Yeah. Oh, you should see how brutal they get on this floor. Yeah. Yeah. They don't care and knock them right into the floor. Okay. It's, like it's, it's on a basketball court. It's. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's rough. They don't put anything down on that Nothing. floor. No. A bed of nails. No. Yeah. I need just. No, I take it. Back. little bones hit that floor. <laughs> yeah. No, they wearing pads or anything? No. No knee pads. I, I think a shin pad. That's it. Shin. Yeah. Shin guards. But yeah, just. just ah, that's just actually hardcore, isn't it? I yeah. can see Parker doing a little sort of sweep kick. Ah. It's a lot, it's a lot smaller area too, so uh, you know they're just slamming the ball into each other and just knocking in. It's just body ball. Oh man. Jesus. How's the foot treating you? Ah, uh, better. I'm gonna uh, cast is off. Uh, we're in a boot now. Oh, you are. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel any better, but the, and you're still on crutches. Yeah, I can't put any weight on it. You still on drugs? Yeah. So no beer again today? <laughs> yeah, no beer. Good lord. Are you gonna be asleep halfway through the show? Only if I drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tasty and I were talking about that last time, man. You really checked out. Oh, I did for about 15 minutes, yeah. <laughs> on our last show. On the air? Yeah, you should have seen it. He wasn't on the air. He wasn't. He was he, off the air. Yeah, he was just off. <laughs> we were on. He was off. Yeah, we went to break, and I was like, Doc, are you are you alive, man? I was just like, oh, look at that. <laughs> he looked great. He had good color and everything. He yeah. was zombie. looks really good. Yeah. I was having a party in my head, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Been there, done that. All right. I mean, what did I have? Maybe six ounces of beer. Like, yeah, you didn't through about four tastings. I had about yeah, mm. but you got a pillbox that'll make a, ch- a choke a horse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll take the pain pills over the beer any day. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, I just don't like the pain. Hey, Doc, hey, when you yeah, walk, yeah, really. when you walk in, do you and you see the stripper pole because it's here? Do you kind of wince at it and like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flashback, steer clear of it, <laughs> bad memories. Yeah, <laughs> I would. Uh, you can send show ideas to Chad at the Brewing Network dot com. C H A D Chad at the Brewing Network dot com. Send all show ideas there, please. Feedback can go to feedback at the Brewing Network dot com, and uh, other random insults can go to JP at the Brewing Network dot com. What? He can do all of that. Uh, okay. You had a caller, but he hung up. He took too long. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Was it important? They make me wait when I call in, so yeah. what the hell? You just wanted uh, to place a bet. No, it was uh, birthday wishes for Chad. No. Oh. So, yeah, I guess it was to Chad, but not to us. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, my God! You've got mail. Kick ass. Feedback. We had weird stuff this week. Let's see. Hey, Justin and the rest, including that fag JP. Whoa! Whoa. My dad's Boy, that's calling writing. him out right there. My dad's writing it again. Getting right into it. I just wanted to drop a line and let you know your shameless guilt trip succeeded. I finally got caught up on all the archives over the past eight months or so and felt about time to give something back to you, Tards, for the brewing info you spew and the seemingly endless supply of sometimes hilarious, extraneous bullshit. Bevo is a friggin' badass, he says. Gotta love that she continues to be such a good sport, even around you sick bastards. Gotta love the Christmas show, especially Doc's slippery pole incident. I can't wait for more (laughs) updates on the recently more frequent Sasquatch spot Oh! Nothing hilarious. Yeah. Sasquatch, otherwise known as Chat's crazy bitch. I did have another (laughs) sighting, as a matter of fact. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know if I was going to talk about it, but uh, I'll save it. Oh, you have to. Cover your eyes this time? I try. Well, I'll save it for the end of the show. we got a lot to get to. Says also finally up to date in the Jamil Show, which is a fantastic source for recipes, brewing techniques, and all sorts of other info. Any case, good job on the shows, Bruce Strong. That's from John PFC Mid Atlantic Division, oh. Elliott City, Maryland. He's a EC brewer in the forums. 
Uh, here's a guy who's doing uh, doing well in competition, he says, due to us. Hey, Justin, want to say thanks to you and everyone else. The BN recently entered the 2008 Upper Mississippi Mashout Competition with the BN as my homebrew club. Yeah. That's a big one, too. Nice. Yeah. Nationwide. He said it was not my first competition, but I've not done very well in the others that I've entered. About six months ago, I decided I would brew only Jameel's recipes mm. until I had my process down, and I started the place well at competitions. And that day has finally come. I entered three beers in this year's comp. An American Pale Ale, Ordinary Bitter, and a Scottish 80. Took first place in two out of the three categories. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, brother. The Ordinary Bitter and the Scottish 80 were the winners. Needless to say, give Jamil a big thanks uh, for me. His advice and knowledge has been a huge help. Um, and let's see. He says he only kind of listens to the podcast and, and watches the forums. But a loyal listener and looks forward to every show on his Monday commute. That's from Ken in Plainfield, uh, Plainfield, Illinois, or Smitty Brew in the forum. So congrats, man. Good job on the, on the beers and, and a couple first places. That's awesome. Uh, here's one. This is probably my favorite email I've gotten in a long time. Wow. And I can't believe it's taken this long <laughs> for somebody to do this. Well, or are you to make it up? Justin, I'm or five, you even six. admit to it that you actually like email. <laughs> yeah. Check well, it out. Well, this time has come. Yes. He yeah. says, I can't be- It starts just like this. I can't believe it. I effing did it. I just joined the club. I decided to keg my recently finished Belgian double. And as I was racking into the keg, I decided to remove the piece of foil I had over the keg opening to check its progress. And what did I see? A shitload of star sand foam. And I realized that I forgot to dump out the gallon or so of sanitizer before I started racking. Uh, Yes! Finally, someone else is in the club. Well, now you can form a club. Yeah, it takes more than one. He says, I instantly knew how you felt. When you hear the horror stories, they just don't hit home until you ruin your own beer. Mm. So I poured out the three gallons of Star Sand Double and saved the two that were still in the carboy. So pissed. Time to get shit-faced. And that's from Mason, a.k.a. Straight Cash Homie in the forums. So you have a partner. I am now not the sole individual who uh, poured his wort uh, on top yeah. of that's, uh, that's... Star Sand. Yeah. That's very painful. It's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. fingernails on the chalkboard to me kind of thing. How could you make that mistake, though, after oh, people have been awesome. grilling me about it for over well, two years? Yours was in a carboy, right? Yes. And So, so you, mine was so clear you, glass. You could see it going. <laughs> yeah. At least his was, you know, in, 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 in uh, stainless steel, and he, he kind of... Doc, why you got to piss on my uh, <laughs> face, <laughs> I, you know? And all in my <laughs> nose and ears. But this does just drive it home. That <laughs> Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, all right, more feedback. Speaking um, of that, you should really sanitize your hands again, Jay. I probably should. Uh, Watch, here's another been five qu- minutes, and I've been there, and you haven't. <laughs> Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there, uh, Justin. There we go. <laughs> all right, questions about the AHA membership's been coming through all week. If you want to know, this guy writes in, hey, are the uh, are the AHA memberships that I sell for new members, or can we purchase a renewal through the BN? That's from Rich. Uh, you can purchase a renewal. If you if you buy the card from me, when you go to register online, you can put in your existing uh, member number, whatever your member number is. It's probably on your membership card, and you can put that in, and then it works as a renewal. Uh, or if it's a brand new one, then you just skip that step. So if you want to renew through us, you can do that as well. I got another question about international national memberships because I guess the AHA has an, an international membership it's different than the regular membership I, I don't have those and I don't know if they have an affiliate program for that so I'm, I'm going to look into it and find out you know, I wonder what the difference is maybe they don't ship Zymergy all the way over there well, it might be well, more for more, shipping yeah. or something yeah oh yeah uh, a lot of feedback from Canada since Bevo, <laughs> since Bevo bashed wow. Canada last show. Oh, that wasn't good, no. But that's like a velvet glove, really, though, you know? Yeah. Uh, he's Hey, Justin, just wanted to say your show rocks. I started brewing All Grain a year ago, and thanks to the BN, I've been brewing better beer ever since. You guys are hilarious, make the show fun, informative, entertaining. And, oh, yeah, I am Canadian, and Bevo, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> he then goes on to say, just kidding, you're hot, and you can say whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's how we feel. That's from Grimmy in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Kingston. I'm a big fan of Canada. Here's another one from Canada. <laughs> you lucky effer. Balance I signed up. up for monthly donations before 
are hearing Bevo's rant about Canada, and that cut deep. I'd like to remind her that Canada has 1% of the world's population and is responsible for 10% of the world's peacekeeping. Though, <laughs> though I'll be the first. We don't to, care about that, obviously. Yeah, yeah. we're warmongers over here. Yeah. Uh, he says, though I will be the first to admit that the reason everyone thinks that we're such pussies is because we won't brag about anything good that we do. He goes on to say, as for quality Canadian micros, I might uh, gather a bunch and send you some. And then he mentions a couple, of course, Unibrew, which I know we got to have them on the show just so I can figure out how to pronounce their name, Unibrow. I hope it's Unibrow. I thought that yeah. was JP, Unibrow. Yeah, yeah. it's JP. <laughs> Let me see. Take your glasses off, JP. Do you, nah, you're not too much of a he Unibrow. He waxed it up No, he's show. plucking now. Yeah, he plucks. Yeah. Um, if I don't, I look like Bert from Bert and Ernie. He says uh, <laughs> right. big, big Rock's a good brewery up there. Creamore Springs, not bad. I've had Creamore Springs. It's all right. I bet you have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the can the can of beer in Canada. <laughs> Three more springs. I need a cr- I need cricket sounds for JP's <laughs> jokes. Hey, if McDole laughs, I'm all right. Yeah, I think he was laughing. I'm laughing at, at me, everything. Not laughing okay. at you. <laughs> He's all right, McMahon. Um, <laughs> so I didn't know if I was going to talk about this on the air, but it was it really has been dominating my feedback over the last week or so. So I thought, what the hell? Um, and I wanted to comment on it a little bit. So. People have been complaining about a lot of... People have been taking the Brewing Network and and this whole beer thing way too seriously lately. I mean, everyone is very friggin' serious about their beer and their beer radio right now, I gotta tell you. I mean... No. <laughs> they are so... I gotta pull my tongue out of my cheek. <laughs> it's just beer, for Christ's sake. Come on. I mean, you What's know... Granted, it's good beer. Well, we're doing the best we can at, you know, b- bringing you professional radio, and, and certainly that's part of it, and, and also getting professionals in here, but let's face it, at, at the end of the day, and even for guys like Sully, who, who owns a, a brewery, at the end of the day... It's still just beer, isn't it? I mean, you're not yeah. going home, like, freaking out over your stock portfolio. It's friggin' beer. Oh, no, I freak out about that. <laughs> it's beer. Well, so, what, what, what's the problem? Well, what's a couple of different things. For one, uh, people have been, had been complaining about guests. Uh, you've seen this in the forum, and, uh, oh, yeah. you know, there was a lot of complaints, uh, and people, uh, oh, yeah. talking about Jason, uh, from Lodi a few weeks ago, and then even Dan Carey from, from New Glarus. Well, here's an email I got right after the New Glarus show, and uh, the chat room caused, like, this guy's bailing on the BN wow. because of the chat room's behavior during that show. I guess there was just a lot of negativity going on, and he tried to stick up for Dan a little bit, and then they just directed all that negativity to him. He's actually, before everybody kind of gets on his case, he's a nice guy. And he just says, Justin and crew want to say a couple of things. I love the Brewing Network. I love the shows. I've been listening, um, you know, for years. Uh, I've also learned how to improve my brewing. Uh, you know, he says he's really kind of a loyal listener. Uh, then he goes on to say, I realize you may just write this off as another can't afford to donate whining bitch and not bother to read this, but I wanted to speak my piece. And by the way, I read all of it, and I take it all to heart, too, so you guys don't ever feel like you can't talk to me and send emails about your uh, complaints, as long as you're not being a whiny bitch. Uh, he says, although I realize that we brewers would like the pros to spill all of their info, it's not always going to happen. And to me, it seemed as if Dan from New Glarus was trying to be as helpful as he could. Uh, when someone's willing to come on the show to share their knowledge and experience with us, they deserve to be treated as such. Don't get me wrong. You guys in the studio are always respectful to the guest, um, even when the interview's not going well. But sometimes the chat doesn't seem to understand how to be respectful. Um, and anyway, he just kind of goes on to say that they, they were really bashing him. He says, I'm not offended by w- what was fired back at me. I expected as much, but I refuse to be a part of that or just sit by and allow it to happen without at least making my opinion known. He says, I will miss the show, but I'm not going to hang out with these people in the chat anymore, uh, any more readily than I would want to hang out with them in person. Which, by the way, is a good way to think about your behavior in the chat, if you would behave that way if you were sitting at my house. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you guys all should kind of pay attention to that. 
And he says, you know, I've got the same sick and twisted sense of humor as everybody else, but um, I, I don't think we need to be disrespectful. So best wishes for the future uh, of the show. Cheers and good brewing. And that's from Chris. And uh, he's bailing uh, because he just didn't like the way the community uh, was behaving. And if you think about it, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that that's a right decision or a wrong decision, but it is a community and it's your community and you guys are all a part of it. So I think... You know, when you guys really take ownership of it, and you do take ownership of it, you realize that everything the BN Army does is a reflection of you, personally. It's certainly a reflection of me, but it's it's your army. It's a reflection of you. So uh, this guy says, hey, if it's going to be a reflection of me, I don't want any part of it. I, my take on it, you know, the chat room's the chat room, and it can get ugly. That's why we have a moderator. That's why we have a moderator, yeah. although she was hammered. She was drunk. And she, <laughs> she, it, yeah, she, if she Sleep wasn't, she probably wheel. would have kicked some people out of there. Uh, basically, the only people that see it are the people that are in the, in the chat room. Yeah. Right? It can get ugly. Nobody else on the air hears it. Nobody knows what's going on. The only downside is, is you get some new people in the chat room who aren't you know, on the inside joke with this whole thing, or they just you know that maybe this is an uh, uglier week than it usually is. Yeah, and you can turn off some new people pretty bad. Yeah, doing that. Yeah, so you could scare some new people out, and that is I a knew. problem. You know, you get a lot of new people in the chat room every week, so you get you know th- this happens about every six months. We have to like spank the chat room <laughs> for uh, getting a little rowdy. And yeah, uh, but I, you know, I don't know. A small I'm, part. I'm but. sorry, this guy's feelings got hurt. But feelings his feeling but you know it's i don't think i mean regardless of what happened in the chat room that's no mm-hmm. reason to ditch out on the bn there's something else going on because someone in the chat actually made a good point if he if he was really um around all that often he would look at the chat uh, the forum the next day and look at all the apologies yeah and look at everyone and there was a lot it. of apologies yeah, people said yeah i got out of hand yeah, i'm sorry and, and that's what's going to happen and, and if you've been in the chat a lot and you know what's going on you, you take it for what it is it's a bunch of people drinking beer listening to entertaining radio hopefully and, and interacting and, with each other and interacting what station and, are they tuned into <laughs> uh, they're <laughs> on our chat but they're on some other australian show and um uh. and uh it, I, I don't know. I, I just think that's kind of a, uh, you know, I'm taking my ball and going home kind of a thing. And, you know, I don't really, you know. And JP's very familiar really with taking that kind of And I'm very familiar with it, yeah. Someone in the chat also. because uh, the girls a, always picked him for his team. <laughs> made a point. Uh, 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 this Chris guy's probably from Canada. Oh. 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 I didn't say that. Yeah. Chat room said that it. was the chat room. See? A prime example of the chat room being yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. They're, they're well, well, kind of to touch a little bit on that, to the initial part of what you just said, which is touch you, uh, oh yeah, uh, is that every guest is different. I don't know if you've talked about this on the show at all with uh, Jer- uh, Jason and then uh, Dan Carey, and uh, they're used to having a certain style of guest come in here and yeah. kind of lay it all out, and the, the bottom line is that, you know, people have ways of doing things. They don't really want to divulge, and if they don't want to do it, then, you know, that's just the way it is. It's not their job to tell you everything yeah. they know. It's like, you know, my watermelon weed is a, is a, is a closely held secret. Yeah. And, uh... He puts watermelon in it. Go to his grave. Oh, Josh! He cut make, that out! He makes just a wheat beer stop. and he puts watermelon in it. Oh, God, stop! Tornado, I told you that was off the record. Sorry. <laughs> My fault. I'm going to start talking about other things. It, it's so a we're going to delete this one. We're going to have to pick Nick this a two part. My uh, IPA yeah. is also Archive a secret. Now. It's a really hoppy pale ale. Oh. And here's the other secret we put it in a can. <laughs> no. Nobody knows that. Yeah. Is that new? How do you get them? How do you put it in the can? That's right. That's that's Sully's closely guarded secret that he, he likes to put it in cans. <laughs> Yeah. Now you're right, Sully. You got it. You know, every guest is going to be different. Actually, though, people have been cool about that. Here's the other thing that I, that everyone uh, that I'm getting a lot of flack about. Still, it's been going on and going on. I got accused of being the Anheuser Busch of radio shows. This this <laughs> week. what? I haven't heard that. Can you imagine this? I got what? I got called. Do you eat the, a lot of rice or something? I got called the Anheuser Busch of uh, of brewing programs. You mean like the big guy against the little guy kind of thing? <laughs> he he says, "That's what I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, like you're the uh, big kid on the block kind of thing." That's a, yeah, exactly. It's another guy. He's a, a big fan of the show. He's a listener. Um, he says your show is by far the most professional, with the largest base of supporters and advertisers. Uh, you're the 800 pound gorilla in the room. I would have said 900. And what you say <laughs> carries a lot of weight in the homebrew community. Uh, like it or not, people look up to you and follow your lead. So you, more than anyone else, needs to be careful about the Brewer's Code. Many of the other podcasters out there don't know the code, and you're setting the example. 
And uh, but we're not a podcast. <laughs> we're a live <laughs> broadcast that, that happens to archive our show. You jerk, <laughs> and Captain Technical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think this is all stemming from when we gave him an award. It's it is what it is. Yeah, which still was, reeling from that. Yes, <laughs> which was a silly like five minute yeah bit. If you can't take that, if you can't take that joke, you're just not going to get any joke. The yeah. therapy bills just shot through the yeah, through the right. roof that oh, week yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. So he goes on to say a whole bunch of stuff, but he basically says, before you become the class bully and generalize all the other brewcasts into one category, you need to listen to them. Many of them do pay you respect, but your 2007 Douche of the Year award made you look a lot like Anheuser-Busch. You need to listen to every single one of them. Oh, my God. Every (laughs) single one of them. And then I'll have a bullet for every single one of them, and you can put it in your head. I don't even listen to this one yeah i know (laughs) i mean and i can't blame you who here really listens to the show if we're not on it (laughs) nobody nobody here does yeah, it says if you're gonna pass out douche of the year, I just awards, listen to my parts. At least know who you're giving it to. <laughs> Again, with the and actually, I was hoping to win it because I was in the running. <laughs> I just think it's it's kind of exactly like we. Were, I put myself in the same category, by the way. Uh, but er, everyone's just taking everything a little too seriously. There's all right, a lot of it's asses. still just a beer show, and and you know every time I talk to Jim Cook from Sam Adams, and I'm always uh, you're like on the phone with him every week. No, no, I mean every time dinner parties, yeah, the red, hey, the red phone, Jimbo, what's <laughs> happening? No, when we do interviews. I'm always I always reference him as he's the largest craft brewer in in in, in the world, and he he always says, and I I've always liked his answer. He says, yeah, but that's kind of like being the world's tallest pygmy, right? Because because the craft beer world is so tiny yeah. compared to the big guys. Well, to say that I'm the biggest uh, with the with the most advertisers and the most audience is really the same thing. It's like saying I'm the world's tall, tallest pygmy because being the biggest a uh, 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 beer radio show, you know what that that means shit <laughs> that it got real quiet <laughs> yeah that's what it means it means that uh, i'm sitting in my friggin garage right now so you're the smartest world's smartest retard <laughs> yeah i'm the world's yeah, yeah. i uh, drive yeah. the world's longest yeah. short bus you're yeah. the anheuser bush of retards so yeah. it's i've learned how not to lick windows in public and now suddenly everyone's down on me so, you know, because you hear above. some sponsors and there's some advertising going on and things like that, you know, don't get the wrong impression. It, it's still, We're still douchebags. Yeah, and it's still just beer, man. It, We're just a bunch of schmucks in a garage. Everyone's so <laughs> serious <laughs> right now. I mean, I've, I've got a urinal in the studio, for heaven's oh, sake. Yeah. And it's pouring golden liquid. Don't talk uh, about Chad like it's that. pouring the Belgian pale ale, I notice. Hey, Chad, wh- what do you think about all these feelings? Fucking <laughs> feelings. <laughs> Uh, we might have some uh, new shirts coming out with some effing feelings type of stuff in there. I think it'd be good. I think, was that your idea, Jipper? Uh, well, I think it was Jay Brews, actually. Is that right? Yeah. Listeners always have the best ideas. None of this is our idea. The whole thing is all listener-based. Yeah. So. Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, y- y- look, you're in entertainment, whether you're talking about beer or you're talking about spackle or you're talking about roofing. Uh, you know what I mean? What? You're, you're trying to entertain Here people. Go. Oh, don't uh, take yourself what? so fucking seriously. Agreed. Okay, yeah. and that's all you got to do. Agreed. All right, uh, I got to take a break, and then when we come back, let's get into it. It's the first ever Brewing Network Bowl, the BN Bowl, my friends. Dave Yarrington from Smutty Nose. Uh, he's in New Hampshire, and Chris Sheehan from Chelsea out of Manhattan. When we come back, right here on the session. You're listening to the Brewcasters. The Brewcasters on the Brewing Network. Did you know that every day a brewcaster goes to bed hungry? Did you know that that brewcaster is silently calling for the help of people just like you? Do you know that every day the unicorn and the rainbow have to blow sailors for loose change? For less than the cost of a half-calf, quad-shot, venti, extra-hot, soy milk, triple-pump, hazel, low-fat foam, double-cupped macchiato a day, you can help starving adults in Pacheco. Your love can be felt for as little as seven cents a day. Visit thebrewingnetwork.com slash donate to sign up today for as little as $2 a month. Private first class in the BN Army. Buy your way up the ranks as corporal, sergeant, ranger, or colonel with an easy-to-do monthly donation that keeps brewcasters alive and your favorite internet radio station broadcasting. No donation is too small to help those in need. Can't you find it in your heart to share your love with a brewcaster? In return, you will enjoy the wealth of knowledge that comes with every episode of the session. The Jamil Show and yes even that other show. 
Thank you for listening, and please sign up for your donation at thebrewingnetwork.com slash donate today. Did you know that you can not only order from More Beer online at morebeer.com and receive free shipping on most orders over $59, but you can also shop in person at their two retail locations located in Concord and Riverside, California. In fact, the Concord facility has grown to over 15,000 square feet to fit all the new products, expanded showroom, and new knowledge center classroom. And now, in conjunction with the Brewing Network, More Beer is making it easier than ever to keep up on what's happening. Download the More Beer monthly podcast by clicking podcast at morebeer.com. You'll learn about More Beer's history, sales and discounts on More Beer products, get to know team members, and hear ways to save you money. They're also launching a brand new website soon with more features and a better online shopping experience. So go to morebeer.com or call 800-600-0033. That's 800-600-0033. This is Sit down next to it, grab yourself a paper towel, and watch those yeast have sex. You're, you're listening to The Brewing Network. The Brewing Network. Saving your life. One beer at a time. Welcome back to the program. An exciting session we've got going on for you today, and the studio's starting to fill up with people as well. Right now, we're about to start uh, the pregame for our first ever Brewing Network Bowl, and we've got our two teams on the line, I hope, as long as everything is working out all right. We're supposed to have Dave Yarrington from Smutty Nose representing New England out of New Hampshire, and Chris Sheehan from Chelsea Brewing representing New York, of course, in Manhattan. Let's see if i got the guys here. Fellas, are you there? Yep, I'm yeah, here. hey, how's it going? Good, we've got you both. Wow, I was amazed uh, that I got that working on the first try. A little conference call, Sully. No, I should turn, uh, although I didn't turn Archive your microphones on. Technology. <laughs> All right, let me, I need to be able to decipher your voices. Uh, Dave, are you there? Yep, uh, I'm right here. All right, there's Dave. Dave representing New England today out of Smutty Nose Brewing Company in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, tell us what the weather's like out there in New England. Oh, it's uh, mid forties, kind of overcast here. Not looking too good, but uh, uh, not too bad considering uh, it could be a whole lot colder up this way. Okay, well, you don't have like bad knees or anything, though. Uh, that the cold's going to affect your game today. I hope. No, I don't think so. Oh. I think I'm going to, um, you know, do pretty well here. And 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 Dave, what are you drinking uh, in order to get ready for the big game? Uh, I'm drinking water as I have a massive cold right now. <laughs> nice. You know, I want, I really want to make fun of you for that, but I'm doing the same thing, Dave, so don't feel bad. And, uh, it, it's I a, won't. It's a big day, so you should be, you know, at the top of the game. His cold, he could be a deciding factor in today's game. It could be. if yeah, uh, could be. Absolutely. Uh, the bookies out there, yeah, there goes yeah. the handicapping. they're now taking that into account. Yeah. Though, sure. Is your girlfriend in the audience? Because that might be it, too. <laughs> that might also. What? <laughs> Tom Brady with the Jessica. Of course, this could all be a Bill Belichick ploy, you know, so yeah. you know. There you are. <laughs> and uh, JP wanted to know if you've been listening in at what's going on at Chelsea Brewing. You know, preparing your, your game plan. Oh, no, I haven't. Chris, how's it going, man? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. How about you, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. Chris and I uh, brewed together at the 20 tank, so <laughs> good to hear from you. Yeah. Old friends today. Enemies. <laughs> <laughs> on a blustery Sunday afternoon, yeah, two former friends meet on a gridiron. I can't wait for the NFL film of this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you can you, bet the Patriots are filming it. For they sure. would meet another That's day. It. Yeah. <laughs> you can be sure there's some sort of uh, wiretap or something. There you go, dude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. And Chris Sheehan from Chelsea Brewing out of Manhattan. How are you, Chris? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. All right, good. Thanks for coming on with us. Uh, now, you guys are also old friends. It's kind of a reunion going on here with our friend here, Sean O'Sullivan. <laughs> yes. Speaking Sean, of, how's it going, man? It's going well, Dave. How you doing? Chris, good to hear from you. I'm yeah, doing we, quite well. Yeah, we, good to hear from you, Sean. We're all uh, alumni from 20 Tank. We Is all, that right? We all worked at the 20 Tank Brewery in... Uh, in San Francisco, which is now together. dead and gone, right? It's gone. Yeah, it was, it was, sadly, it's it was, now a nice nightclub. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and also I knew these guys when they brewed out here in San Francisco. So okay, the Bay area. So you guys all used to brew together. Yeah, Chris and I brewed together for a little bit, but Dave, I, I don't think you and I brewed together. 
No, we were both uh, Martin Brother alumni. I think you were yes. out the, um, at the Triple Rock when I was at mm. 20 Tank, right? That's right. Mm. Right. Chris, maybe you can solve something for us. None of us have actually ever seen Sully brewing or touching <laughs> brewing equipment. Chris, have you? Did, can you witness that he actually has brewed beer? Yes, I know for a fact that he actually has brewed beer. I've seen him do it. Is that right? I have seen him lean against a fermenter, though, when his hip went out. Once. He kind of stabilized himself on a fermenter. But other than that... yeah. Yeah, they're really into the ageism here at Things Good. And I think Chris, you, you and I might be the same age, so. Oh, so we can get call, used to it. We can call Chris old also. <laughs> That's it, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm the old, old fart. A- ageism. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. How long have you been, how long have you been brewing, Chris? We'll st- I, I kind of try to go one at a time here so we don't talk over each other. But Chris, tell us how long you've been in beer. Uh, it's over 16 years now. I started working out at Triple Rock as well. It was my first uh, uh, professional job. I uh, started in, let's see, I think that was 91 I started working there, and uh, that led to a full-time position at 20 Tank. Okay. And I worked there for five and a half years uh, before I moved to the uh, East Coast. And briefly was the head brewer at the Neptune Brewery in New York City, which is now defunct. Okay. Uh, I was only there for like three months, and that led to the position at Chelsea, and now I've been there for over ten years. I hear that that location at Chelsea is just awesome. That you just have, you guys have a really good spot right down there on the waterfront, right? Yeah, it's nice. We got a nice marina out in front. We're right on the river. Got a beautiful view of New Jersey. Okay. And how long? Have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's very green. Everything's good from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> and how long then have you been at, at Chelsea now? Uh, over 10 years. Over 10 years. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. Nine of, uh, over nine of which were as head brewer. Somebody sent us a real goofy picture of you uh, holding a can of watermelon wheat and with a bunch of GABF medals behind you, it looked like. Yeah. So you've done well in competition. Yeah, I think Motors uh, took that picture of you, Chris. Yeah, Chris, right. is, Chris, yeah. Is, Chris has done really well. I mean, every year he, he picks up some bling at the, at the GABF. Really? He's done very well. I don't know why. It's always in categories, too, that I'm competing in, and I'll go and congratulate him, you know, and I'll be like, hey, congratulations. And you, like, squeeze his hand yeah, really like, hard. <laughs> That's my fucking medal. Yeah. <laughs> I taught you, you son of a... No, not really. Yeah. I think it's the other way around, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Student has become teacher. Yeah. I don't know why I missed Chelsea when I was out there. I went to a bunch of breweries and, and brew pubs and uh, as much as I could hit when I was in New York, and I did not go to Chelsea, and I don't know why now. Did I think of it? Well, now it's hard to miss it because it's the only brew pub in New York City. Oh, is that right? <laughs> right. That's such a weird thing, too. That is weird. It. In a, a, a city that size, that there's only one brew pub. Chris, why it's do you think insane. that? Why do you think that's happened? Why Why do brew pubs go into New York, Manhattan, and and don't do well? Well, the first and primary reason is real estate. You know, it's so expensive uh, to, and it's very difficult to. Uh, even survive under those circumstances. There are so many neighborhood organizations and zoning laws and stuff that make it so complicated and difficult to open breweries in the first place. On the other hand, like there's the Heartland brew pubs, which are all over the place, but they're no longer brew pubs. They're just tied houses to uh, Greenpoint Beer Works, which is the mother plant out in Brooklyn. Uh, there are three microbreweries in Brooklyn. Uh, aside from Greenpoint, there's Brooklyn Brewing Company, and there's also Six Point Beer Works. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, but otherwise, in Manhattan, we're the only brewery and the only brew pub in all of New York City. The uh, other problem, though, I can attest to is in the past, when I first came to the city, there were nine breweries in Manhattan, but a lot of them made really poor products. And yeah. so in many cases, poor products has also been a cause of the demise of a number of these breweries. Well, that's a good thing, actually. I say if you can't, you know, if you're, if you're in it for the money and you're not making good beer, get out. Right. You know, you know it's, exactly. your, it's yeah. your own fault. Yeah, if, if, uh, if you're not making good beer, get out before you get forced out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you still have some right. left. Yeah, just and anybody who makes bad beer in the microbrewing segment, in my opinion, is hurting everybody who is making good beer. It just gives the industry as a whole a bad name. Yeah, yeah. Sean. It's true. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't mean that. Oh. I didn't mean that. Oh. Oh. I did my old that. friends here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you making fair. me look bad? <laughs> All right. And then, of course, Dave Yarrington out of Smutty Nose up there in New Hampshire. How long have you been brewing, Dave? Um, I started the 20 tag with Chris in, what, 94? 
That sounds um, right. Yeah, it's about right. And uh, moved there, I don't know, a year and a half or so, and then went out to Colorado uh, to Tommy Knocker and uh, brewed there for a while, and then uh, back to the Bay Area uh, to brew at like, Golden Pacific. Um, and then I ended up in uh, actually in Tokyo um, working with some friends of mine at um, Star Tokyo, oops, to Star Tokyo Brewing Company. I'm um, hoping to get a brew pub going in, in Tokyo, but sort of the same thing that uh, happens in Manhattan right now. Just the, the money issue is just so huge that yeah. it's really hard to, to kind of work through that. So I ended up going back to the U.S. and, and attended uh, UC Davis and then uh, was recruited to help Peter Eggleston out here at Smutty Nose. Okay, so you've been there since? <laughs> yeah, since maybe one or so. And w- so was Chris actually, did he teach you to brew uh, in that first gig? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This um, is perfect. You know, I had a bit of homebrew background, but that was about it. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was Chris and Yatsik, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chris, I hope that Dave whips your ass, just because I think it will be hilarious that, that uh, the student has risen. Yeah, is he the underdog? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, How Dave, many points are you going to get? Dave is that? the underdog at this point now that I'm thinking of it, even though he's representing New England, which is clearly not the underdog. I was going to say, hey, he's representing New England here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but uh, those days at 20 Tank back then, because Chris, you taught me to brew there because I kind of took over the reins after you left. Those were heady times. I mean, I remember going in there for a, I worked at Triple Rock for two and a half years, and I remember you and Yasik. Uh, Yasik is this like infamous like assistant brewer from the Bay Area. <laughs> I mean, you know, you hear you've heard Polish, cra- Polish exactly crazy stories from this guy, okay. absolutely out of his mind. And I remember going so, over, and these guys have been brewing at Twenty Tank for Yasik and Chris have been brewing at Twenty Tank for a long time, and it was just like learning from these guys who've done it so long it was like mash in drink i mean it was like <laughs> really hardcore i'd walk in the morning we'd be sitting at the bar drinking coffee and the heavy metal would be blasting because it's kind of in this cool warehouse kind very of area. nice and then like motley crew heavy yeah metal? like really hardcore and i'm like trying and this or is like I, triumph and i'm metal. trying to learn the system i'm like this new young you know i, I gotta take over well new anyway yeah and, and uh and uh yeah, where we it was never were young and we would mash in and then we would sit down for an hour and a half while the mash was going on and we would just start drinking really <laughs> crazy i was ruined at the end of every day when you guys were there huh. yeah. <laughs> and uh, oddly uh 20 tanks no longer around yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well somebody well, else took it over after i left so yeah that's it uh, they couldn't handle it once you and i would left the place so <laughs> they stopped drinking in the morning yeah, they they secret. Drink. the key to it was drinking in the morning exactly that's, right yeah. that's it Beer for breakfast. As soon as they hired those sober brewers, everything went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Never hire a sober brewer. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I think Scott James was pretty sober, actually. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so Dave, you said you ended up coming out here to the UC Davis program also. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. Tell me what you think about that just as a program. Our listeners are always curious, you know, if they need to go to brewing school. And I always like to ask people that have uh, if, it, if, you, if you felt, you know, you'd do it again if you had the choice. Oh, absolutely. Davis is amazing. Um, you know, I've been brewing, I don't know, six, seven years before I went there. And I think that's the biggest difference. Davis is definitely not a, uh, you know, learn how to brew kind of school. Okay. And, uh, and, you know, I think that if, if I was looking at it just as a creative brewer, um, you know, I th- it's kind of like cooking. I, you know, you, you, you just got to kind of learn how to do the creative end of it. What Davis does is gives you that science and engineering part that, you know, I work at a production facility and, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I would, I would be struggling trying to do what I do without that kind of background. I see. Now that's a good bit of advice that you shouldn't go there as a brand new brewer, but you know, a little bit later in your in your brewing career. Yeah, I hadn't heard that there about Davis. Like, right. I mean, that actually is similar to what I did. I <clears throat> I also did a, the one week intensive course on sanitation and microbiology at UC Davis which uh, John Martin sent me to right after uh, I was promoted to the head brewer position at 20 Tank. And so I had already been working as a professional for uh, about two and a half years at that point when I went to take that course. And just learning, you know, I was already pretty well familiar with the main science of brewing from reading lots of books and stuff, but going to that course and learning about the microbiology and proper sanitation techniques 
really was very beneficial supplementary education for me as well. Okay. Yeah, yes, that's really good advice. I followed exactly the same path. It was like a uh, hands-on brewing experience for a couple years, and then I did the exact same thing that Chris was talking about. Took some other courses as well. And uh, uh, a lot of times you'll get these uh, graduates out of Davis who have never had any brewing experience. Yeah. And they everybody asked me, like, how do you, what, what path should I go on? I said, go in, work in a <laughs> brew pub. Go somewhere else. That's yeah, go path. Because and, and, yeah, you want, it's, I'd rather have somebody who can handle themselves in a brewery and then have them go on and kind of get it backed up with the science end of it and uh so all you aspiring brewers out there yeah work first education second chat you're gonna have to listen to this advice you can learn an awful lot by working with knowledgeable and experienced brewers yeah. as well I think some of it, too, is, uh, you know, there's people who go to Davis and put a lot of money down and yeah. maybe find out that they don't actually like brewing in a commercial scale, you know. Uh, certainly a lot of cash to put down without knowing that uh, you actually like going into that brewery every day. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a big mistake yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, that's why Sully got it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can't drink at 10 a.m., you know. you got to find that out. <laughs> I, JP really likes to... to to give you shit, Sully. You know what? Hey, I'll, Doc just did it. I, I know, and I can't. I, this next comment's gonna. I can't compete with Doc probably on this. I know I can't. Uh, though I wouldn't jump on a stripper pole or halfway up. But uh, yes, he would. I will say, all I have to do is look at JP and then look at my wallet, and I'm okay. <laughs> oh, very nice. Wow, I'm surprised you can see me over here with your cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> but I could have, if I did have cataracts, I could afford to have This show is not of. about you, Sully. No, okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> Throw down. Uh, <laughs> all right, Dave, you mentioned that you're a production facility there, too. Um, how much of the beer you guys produce is, is other people's beer? Oh, uh, we, we, we don't really brew anyone else's beer. Uh, oh, okay. All, all our own. Oh, I see. I thought maybe you guys were kind of a... a you know, what are those called? I'm um, drawing a blank. Contract brewers. Yeah, contract contract brewers. brewers. That's, a, that's a real bad business model, man. If you're not making, if you're not selling your own beer, it's, the margins for brewing someone else's product is tiny. And, okay. You know, if you've got huge economies of scale, you can do it. But for a, you know, a small brewery like us, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. So, okay. Um, all right. And yeah, we, we, we I, I would like to it. point out here that uh, Dave is a much bigger brewery than Chelsea's. Yeah. Is. Oh, okay. But he knows it's a much larger brewery. It is, huh? And it's interesting yeah. because Dave always posts in the uh, uh, the Brewers Association Brewers Forum, and he always, he'll ask these questions, and you can tell that they're growing big there. I mean, you know, I, I, Dave, you could probably talk more about this, but uh, the stuff, the questions that you're asking and all the other brewers out there, it's always, it's evident that uh, you're looking for uh, answers f- because you're going, you're getting bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, in, um, what, six, seven years I've been here, we've gone from 6,000 barrels. We just did about 18,000 this year. Wow. And, uh, um, you know, our growth rate is 20% every year, which, you know, which is manageable, and uh, but uh, you know, barely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's always those, you know, those struggles with old equipment, and you know, when to when to bring in some new pieces, and you know, uh, with the financing and, and trying to cover it and everything. But uh, yeah, it's been really amazing. I mean, we we've done some really good work in the last uh, six years, and uh, I've been real happy here. Um, you know, a lot of it's working with the crew I've got, and then also uh, the owner Peter Eggleston, just uh, really sharp at what he does, and. The marketing end of it, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I think there's a lot of good brewers out there, but I think there's a lot of small breweries that really struggle with their branding. Um, certainly, you know, when it comes to six packs and selling beer on the shelf, um, you know, the branding is so critical. And uh, without that, you know, I could make the you know best beer in the world, but it's hard to get someone to buy it. That's uh, that's a good point, especially more and more beers ending up on the shelf all the time. You got to make your stand. It's out. all about selling it. You're right. I'm look. I yep. just want to point oh, out to the <clears throat> listeners real quick. You can go to smuttynose. dot com and check out the website, and it's a cool site. I'm looking at the beer list. One thing I like that you guys have done here. I, I really like it when brewers do this. You've really put all the vital information about each beer down. You got the OG and the final G, uh, final gravity. You put that. You you're writing down the grain bill. You put the hops. I mean every thing about the each beer is right here on the website and that's a really cool thing for geeks like me to be able to go check out yeah i always find it weird when people won't tell me recipes or give me an idea of what they're doing because i don't know let's face it you know great chefs make a lot of money selling the recipes as cookbooks and yeah. uh, you know for me to you know for me to feel like someone's going to go to my website and then i don't know somehow mm-hmm. impinge upon what i do creatively it's like 
A, I don't, you know, feel like I've got that kind of uh, ability, but also, you know, I, I don't feel that anyone out there really who is creative as a brewer is going to, you know, they may want to take some information and use it in their own way, but they're certainly not going to steal my recipes. That's true. Yeah, and furthermore, I, I totally agree there. It's uh, also important to remember that you can take, you know, say, for example, I give somebody my recipe for 30 barrels of my IPA, you take it to another system that with different shaped tanks and totally different function in the brew house and brew the exact same recipe and it won't come out the same. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent point. Um, I just want to know real quick as I'm looking through your beers here, Dave, um, do you have a favorite of this list of beers you like to brew? Uh, the only one I've had of yours, to be honest, is the Old Brown Dog Ale, which uh, yeah, okay. that's a fantastic beer. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Do you have one on here you like uh, to brew the most? I mean, our, our IPA is, is is pretty amazing, I think, and uh, a lot of the big beers, um, you know, that we put out have been really digging. Uh, we've got a Baltic Porter out right now that's uh, it's just a real choice. Um, but uh, you know, it's more like what I'm what what's in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whichever's in your hand. Favorite, right? <laughs> All right, and then you can also go to ChelseaBrewingCo.com, ChelseaBrewingCo.com, and you can check out the beers that they're making. I'm looking uh, here. I see Checker Cab Blonde and your Sunset Red uh, on here, Chris. Uh, do you guys have more than the two? Yeah, you know, I Thought was so. just going to say our website currently is quite pathetic, but we're in the process <laughs> of uh, so is mine, we're so in the process of having it rebuilt. I was just meeting with the owner and some guys who specialize in this kind of thing, and we're going to have it rebuilt, and it will be including an updated list with beer descriptions and all that kind of stuff. It uh, is a very outdated website as it is right now, so. I put a disclaimer on that. <laughs> ah, yeah, but Chris, so it will be getting better. It is the the work is in progress. Where that web- website will improve, and so, in the future, yeah. to answer your question, we do a variety of many different beers throughout the year. We do up to about twenty different beers throughout the year. Okay, that's a lot of different. And, and beers. Chris, when I think of you as a brewer, I really think of somebody who does a lot with dark beers. I mean, you're kind of like that's your, oh, yeah, well, that you know, you're like that guy. You're that guy every year up on that frickin' stage <laughs> taking those medals for the dark beers. <laughs> but, uh, you do a great but, job. But Sully hasn't noticed. Anything. Yeah. I haven't really he's noticed. Just, he's, he's, <laughs> I'm fine. They put me on suicide watch, but I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you brewing back yeah, there? I have a reputation for my stouts, but in uh, New York City, I'm also getting a reputation for our IPAs as well because, you know, a lot of these uh, uh, brewers around the city the, in particular aren't really achieving the kind of hop character that I can through the use of my hop back and everything. I think it's... Uh, beginning to really catch on and now we really are developing a strong reputation for the hoppy beers as well well that's interesting because both you guys cut your teeth brewing back here uh, on the west coast uh have you and it's uh, the perception always over the years is that east coast breweries and east coast beer drinkers don't like hops it's more of an english influence have you noticed a shift in the trend or uh, well, people for the most part, that's true. I mean, it, it is changing, but uh, what's happening out here uh, more commonly with the like uh, hoppy beers that more people are brewing, it's more of a lot of crossover uh, type of stuff where you have these hybrid beers where people are like making super hop Belgian ales and stuff like this. And uh, granted, there are plenty of other brewers, uh, you know, around the region like Dave that are making, you know, but we we are two brewers that uh, are decidedly West Coast in philosophy. Uh, a lot of the East Coast brewers uh, tend to be brewing beer more firmly rooted in the European styles. Uh, but there are people out there getting more bold and adventurous, but they, uh, for the most part, kind of are getting more experimental. And I, I think in, you know, certainly in New England, those breweries are the ones getting a lot of uh, word of mouth and, and press right now are people who are really kind of experimenting. And, and they're certainly with hops, with Belgian styles and all that. And uh, some of the other people who are, you know, maybe rooted back in uh, a little bit more old school pub brewing, uh, not quite getting the recognition that, uh, you know, even if they're making a nice beer, it's certainly not... Uh, you know, one of those things where the beer geeks are out there kind of uh, well, clamoring for it. So you guys have been accepted by the East Coast community. You're like the, the you're like the white guy with the Japanese girlfriend who, uh, you know, <laughs> they're all looking at you like, oh, yeah, he's still, a, you know, a gringo. 
the, the Japanese now say gringo. Yeah. I, 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 don't know what, I think it's more glingo, but that's right. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to point out uh, that JP and Schumann have also been experimenting, uh, but they haven't, they're not seeing no, the same success I, no. as the East Coast breweries. I said that was off the record. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, fair enough. All right, guys, listen, i got to take a break. And uh, then when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna get into the to the BN Bowl. I think the pregame is over. The cheerleaders cheerleaders have left the field. We've got an exciting game coming up. Yes. Uh, so if you guys can hang out for a couple minutes, I'm gonna take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll get down to it. You guys all right with that? Oh yeah, sounds good. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can do that. All right. Cool. It's the first ever Brewing Network Bowl right here on the session. We've got Dave Yarrington from Smutty Nose out of New Hampshire and Chris Sheehan from Chelsea right there in Manhattan. So stick with us. When we come back, the two are going to compete against each other, and I'm going to throw a couple of twists and turns in there too to get Sully involved. So stick with us. It's the session. We'll be right back. Listening to the Brewcasters. Brewcasters on the Brewing Network. <laughs> oh crap! It's the hop shortage. No, not the organic, free-range oyster Russian imperial coffee stout. It's all gone. We'll never brew again. Damn this hop shortage! Damn it to hell! Oi! Away off your wee f-ing hop shortage! Who are you? A f***ing Scottish 80 shilling and you cannot brew a Scottish 80 shilling like you was mixing f***ing cement with f***ing hops instead of gravel, you great f***ing ass. Use less hops, brew more beer. Northern Brewer has kits and ingredients for dozens of worldwide beer styles that don't require a lot of hops to make a great pint. Like the bloodthirsty and abusive Scottish 80 shilling. Keep drinking great beer. Order at northernbrewer.com and get flat rate $7.99 shipping anywhere in the contiguous U.S. One beer kit, $7.99 shipping. One million beer kits, $7.99 shipping. Together we can beat this hop shortage. My Lambic! It'll only f***ing help it. See that bear lapping up that good old country water? Sure makes a big hairy guy like you thirsty. That's when I wrap my lips around that tall, sweaty, edible bottle of good old country bear whiz beer. As my daddy said, son, it's in the water. That's why it's yellow. <laughs> bear whiz beer. There was beer, liquid product, and there was brewery animal, Missouri. Hello from Plank Road Brewery, where we're proud to announce there's finally a beer brewed exclusively for people who love head. Just for us? That's right, head beer. A hearty beer with a big, thick head that lasts and lasts. Try some. Jesus Christ, this is the best head I've ever had. That's right, head beer is delicious. Oh, God, this is great head. Everyone loves head beer. I love giving my husband head. It really satisfies him. Enjoy the full-bodied flavor of head beer. Now that I've had head, I don't think I'll ever want anything else. And ladies, head's not just for men. You know, there's nothing like getting home from work, sitting down on the couch with my husband, and giving him some thick foamy head. Absolutely. Head beer is bold. I'm a big head fan. Last week, my friends came over for the game, and my wife gave them all head. They loved it. Yeah! Yeah! Experience the surprising flavor of head beer. I love head, but I still can't get my wife to try it. Come on, honey. No. Please. I don't like the taste. Okay, well, maybe your sister likes head. Okay, okay, I'll try it. Mmm. This is good head. Do yourself a favor. Get some head today. Wait till you can pour it out of your own kangarator. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your friends will look at you with awe. And it's just hot. It is? It's so super hot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the home of live beer radio. Because like beer, radio shouldn't suck. You're listening to The Session. You're listening to The Brewing Network. Because like beer, radio shouldn't suck. All right, welcome. 
Welcome back to the program. Getting ready to start the BN Bowl here, the first ever. It's uh, I like doing firsts around here, you know? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be sloppy seconds. Nah, I hate sloppy seconds. That can be fun, too. I like it when we invent things, like the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know. Can you say Super Bowl in the air? Uh, you're not supposed to. You can't call it the big well, game no, or Super if, Bowl. Or... You can't if you're making money off of it, then you can't. Well, you're well since we're not making money around here. I can say it all I want. Well, <laughs> can you say it as one word, like Super Bowl, instead of Super Bowl? Do you think that that's the thing? loophole the lawyers forgot about? Maybe. It could be. It's, maybe that's in the fine print. Let's try it. <laughs> all right, and we are back on with Dave Yarrington from Smutty Nose and Chris Sheehan from Chelsea. You still with us, fellas? Oh, yeah. Yep, hey, how's it going? All right, very good. Chris, are you drinking anything? Yeah. (laughs) I'm drinking my Blizzard IPA. I got my... Just fresh out of tap from my kegerator. Nice. You got Jim right, I'm drinking something. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, remember, we're on East Coast time here. It's true. Yeah, you've got a couple hours on us, man. Three to be Oh, there's fair. plenty of people on the West Coast that are hammered right now. <laughs> That's true. <Yeah. laughs> really? And hopefully, Shat is working on being one of those, too. Uh, <laughs> now, Dave, I've opened a beer, my friend, so now I can officially call you a pussy for not drinking. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, thanks, just, man. Just so you know. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm still drinking water. F you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly, my, suddenly my connection's getting a little fuzzy. <laughs> All right, our phone number, 888-401-BEER. I know that some of the people in the chat had some questions for you guys. If you guys want to call in, uh, you can do it now. You can only do it on the landline. Don't call me on Skype. I got these fellas on the Skype. So 888-401-BEER if you want to phone up. Um, do it now as I'm explaining the rules of the first first ever BN Bowl. Oh. And by the way, I'm not just explaining them to you. I am creating them as I go and explaining them to myself. So uh, okay. I kind of thought, so we've got New England against New York here, and I kind of thought that you guys could use maybe a floating player. And um, uh, so I'm thinking that Sully can play for on one team and Doc can play on the, on the other team. Uh, a shout out or what? Uh, a, 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 to, for who plays for who, you mean? Or no, just, no, just for the help. Oh, for the answers? Yeah. yeah. You guys are all going to buzz in, it, like whoever knows it. So I'll tell you what, um, Dave, since you're the underdog, even though you're New England, I'm going to let you choose. And if you don't know, I'll give you a little background. You know all about Sully, so uh, <laughs> uh, yep. you probably are. I don't are... Know how to become the underdog. What? Well, just because uh, you're, the, you're the student. <laughs> Okay. Well, even though, right. even though it's I'm been not so est- sure, I agree with this. Well, even though it's been established by Chris that you, not only is your brewery bigger, but uh, your uh, your website is also larger. It's a bit. You have to go along with it. It's like the big head old thing I have to put up with all the time. You know what they say about guys with big websites? <laughs> no. Oh, I was hoping you did. I was oh. asking. Ooh, clunker. Uh, so. Dave, I'm going to let you choose your teammate. You know all about Sully. And Doc over here, he actually is a doctor. He's an award-winning home brewer, and he is our scientist in the room. Um, so a good guy in terms of uh, brew science, but you should also know that he's all hopped up on Oxycontin. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> he may be a little slow today. <laughs> well, we're not drinking beer. I'll take, I'll take- I'll take the scientist. Don't mind that. All right. He's going for Doc as his teammate. Oh, all right. Just Which, like a playground, Sully gets picked last again. <laughs> Chris, I, I'm sorry about that. I, I'll do my best. <laughs> I have faith in you, Sean. Thank you, sir. All right. And here's what I've got for you, fellas. It's just a little bit of good old-fashioned beer knowledge and uh, beer trivia mixed in there. And maybe, uh, Shaq, did you complete any football trivia for me? Yes. And where is that? Here we go. I'll put it right in front of you. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's yeah, it's head. in my head. <laughs> so usually what I like to do is, is kind of categorize things, and we do it a little bit of Jeopardy style, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go free form. I'm going to go down the list and uh, just read out the questions, and you guys are going to have to buzz in if you have the answer, all right? Now, there you won't lose any points for having the wrong answer, so don't worry about that. Uh, just, you know, belt something out if you don't if you don't know it. Um, but... For but I will kick Sully in the nuts every time you get a, an answer wrong. So a plus there. So we buzz in even the even Doc and I on the second team here. Yeah, you guys okay. should. Bu- um, or should we let the? You should wait and see if if they know it. Okay. And then if they don't and you do, then you can go ahead and chime in. You're kind of like second string quarterback. Yeah, that's okay. what I mean by the shout out. They can ask for our help. Yeah, you can do that. How about that? If you want to, you, you know, just say, "Hey, Doc, do you know it?" Or Sully, do you yeah. know it? Kind of a thing. Gotcha. Um, you do that. Are we, are we good? limiting them to so many shout outs 
You want to do that? Yeah, like timeouts. Mm, I think good. Doc's been listening to too much rap. Yeah, it's getting complicated yeah. now. <laughs> no, you just you got you got three to go, and, and you, you, once you use all three, you can't. Uh, oh, lifelines! You I get lifelines. Yeah. You can't you can't uh, use this anymore. All right, let's do that. That's a good idea. Um, but we'll let you go. Yeah, we'll let you go to them um, four times. Eight times. Four. Thirty-seven times. Okay. Uh, you can go to them. Uh, but no more. I'm going to give you four lifelines. And you know what? For that matter, you can go to Tasty also. We'll put Tasty in the mix. <laughs> oh! So now you're not even teammates. You can call out whoever you yeah, want. Yeah, you can call out any... any What's going on here? Shout out yeah. to anybody. I told you I'm explaining it to myself as we go, <laughs> Let's too. Let's put Chad in there, too. All right, so now uh, you've got okay. you've got Sully, Tasty, and Doc. All fantastic brew... Well, Doc and Tasty, really good brewers, and Sully... <laughs> manages uh, a good brewer. Manages a fantastic brewer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, we will. Who once brewed at Twenty Tank? And <laughs> where's my checkbook? <laughs> I'm gonna fly my way out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll give you four lifelines each. Sound good? Okay. Sound good. What were those names uh, yeah, again? Yeah. What's the the other guy? Tasty. Tasty. Yeah. Tasty. 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 A, yeah. Doc and Sully. All right. Okay. Now, for the questions, some of them are multiple choice, and I'll let you know ahead of time if it's a multiple choice question. You may want to wait until I read all of them, uh, all of the answers, but you don't have to. If you are confident that I've read the answer already, then feel free to, to just buzz right in and do it. Um, and let's see. Uh, for buzzwords, we're going to need something for these guys. Um, How about hmm. uh, go Giants, go Patriots? Okay, we can do that. You just yeah, you can like yell Giants or Pats or something, you know, whatever you want to do to represent your teams there, fellas. Or how about their own know. brewery names? They can get a little plug in every now and then. Smut, Smut. Smutty Nose. Yeah. I really like that name because yeah. if you're drunk enough, it guaranteed to come out slutty hose. <laughs> give me a give me a slutty couple hose. slutty hose. <laughs> you can't talk to me that way. I meant beer. Okay. So just yell out your team name, and uh, that's how we'll know that you're buzzing in. And I think we can get down to it, eh? Uh, I need those questions from you, uh, Shat. You going to give me uh, questions or not? Is it all in your messy handwriting? (laughs) So (laughs) So his awkward, blocky handwriting. God damn it, Shat. At, hey, least, you, hey, at you, least one of us has to be prepared. You said you didn't have to do any work. Why don't you let me ask the question? This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask the questions. Yeah. All right. I'll let you ask That's the good. football questions. I'll do the beer questions. Fair? Fair. Fair. Jesus. I know I'm nothing sleep. about sports, I'm by the way. I'm asleep already. Okay. <laughs> here we go. The first question in the first ever Brewing Network Bowl. Da, 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 da. The process used by most large breweries of heating beer to kill off all yeast and bacteria, stopping the fermentation process, is called what? Giants. Go ahead, please. Pasteurization. That's absolutely right. I'm going to need a pen there, Doc. Let me make sure I'm scoring this properly. Although I disagree with that. You do? Well, it's it doesn't stop the fermentation process. It, it will. Well, it will. That's not what it's used for. It will, but it's used to basically you know, get the bugs out, so it doesn't affect yeah, the package beer. Yeah, your beer's really not supposed to be fermenting at that stage. Yeah, so I will let it go, though. It's still pasteurization, isn't it? It doesn't change the Correct. answer. You know what, Sully? That's okay. it. You're kind of geeking hey. out here. So this is a home brew, sh- home brew show. Oh, most, yeah. most of us have bugs about then, so yeah. Yeah, and did you not get the that whole memo about not being too serious? Okay. <laughs> Just chiming in. Why Why on Super Bowl Sunday am I the whipping boy here I don't today? know. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, though, i got to tell you. All right. Question number two. The Giants are leading, by the way. Uh, with raw grain... I don't like this question. I'm skipping it. It's going to be because I know that Sully's going to bitch for a Just half an hour. Just say it anyway. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit on my hands. I'm skipping ahead to an easy one. This should be a slam dunk for either one of you. What... Is the Bavarian purity law called? Patriots, science. Uh, the Pats chimed in first, and that is right. The Ryan Heinz kibbutz. It's a tie game, fellas. It's actually not pronounced Go that Pats. way. <laughs> You're not going to see this in today's <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. Which, this is a multiple choice, which of these persons was also a brewer? Thomas Edison, George Washington, Eddie Murphy. Giants. Go ahead, Giants. George Washington. Absolutely right. 
<sighs> no, it's D, all of the above. <laughs> you mean Steve. it wasn't Eddie Murphy? It was not Eddie Murphy. I, I, he could be, I guess. Well, no, I think he did. <laughs> him and the that Kathy Island would they get together? Dude? I think it was, I think <laughs> yeah, it was they're they're three base. They're big yeah. home brewers. She was D, I think, yeah. <laughs> him and that tranny with big feet. Here is another <laughs> multiple choice question. What was the Prohibition Act called? Was it the 21st Amendment, a travesty of justice, the Volstead Act, or the Good Samaritan Act? Patriots. Go ahead, Pat. The Volstead Act. Absolutely right, isn't it, Sully? Yeah. Well, actually... (laughs) (laughs) We have a tie game once again. Here we go. It's getting exciting. Do you have sound effects yep. or anything like that, Justin? I don't, yeah. because... I can, uh, make, I can make them if you want. Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> Shat, give us a football question. Chime in here. Okay, well, this is football-related, but to the Super Bowl, so it's not really a football question. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Thank you. D- what, I mean, how huh? many million dollars are spent on beer for Super Bowl Sunday alone? Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> closest yeah. wins. Closest <laughs> wins. Okay. Right. Uh, is this multiple choice? Or? It's not. No, <laughs> we're going to give us Just a round a number guesstimate. and we'll give it to the closest. <laughs> uh... Someone's got to go. Yeah, either one. Just start. So how many... What is the question? How many again? million dollars... Millions are spent of dollars. on beer. Millions of dollars are spent on beer for Super Bowl Sunday. Dave, go ahead and give us your guess. $100 million. All right, Dave says $100 million, And uh, <laughs> Chris, go ahead, please. Right out of his ass. <laughs> I'll say $50 million. And He says <laughs> All right. $12 million. Really? Yes, Ooh. for Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. I would have guessed more in the $100 million range, too. Is that a ridiculous yeah, number? Obviously not buy dogfish yet, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about on food? Can you guess how much on food? Oh, hang on. That, that $50 million went to Chris, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Two-part answer there? That two-part puts, question? You want to do it? How on? many million on food? Oh. All right, we'll do that. Go ahead. Dave? Uh... I'll say hundred million this time. <laughs> hundred million dollars on food. Was that Dave or Chris? That was Chris. Okay. Hundred million on I'll food. say fifteen million. Fifty five million. Whoa. 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 You gotta do some addition there. I a think lot of hot wings. That puts Dave closest, doesn't yep. it? Dave's closest. It's a lot of it's a lot of cottage cheese asses is what it is. <laughs> That's the way you like it. Yeah. Well, just like a Super Bowl should be, this is a close match. Oh. The game is still tied, oh, gentlemen. It's a shootout. Yes. I, let me know it's halftime. i got to piss. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Yeah. When's Tom Petty going to play? Yeah, who's going to perform at halftime? <laughs> Schumann? Yeah. We're going to get Schumann in here to perform at halftime. <laughs> All right. The next question is, and I'll give it to you in multiple choice, when was national prohibition repealed? Was it 1919, 1927, 1933, or 1985? Patriots. Go ahead. 1933. That's absolutely right. The Pats take the lead. Actually, I think the correct answer is is, uh, 563 2nd Street. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just two blocks. Giants Park. Okay. That's right. Moving on, which city in America, I'll give this to you in multiple choice as well, which city in America has the highest consumption of craft beer? Is it San Francisco, Seattle, San Antonio, or St. Petersburg? I'll take a guess at that, Patriots. Uh, Seattle. That is absolutely correct. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. Seattle, uh, Just like Brady's going to be doing. <laughs> Seattle consumes more craft beer We've got eight in the box. Capita. He's going long. <laughs> Sully, he Sully heard that once on a... Yeah, on, I did. I don't know broadcast. anything about sports. <laughs> I actually bet on the Super Bowl. I he's think, tied his shoes and he's running. I think I saw that in a porn <laughs> once. <laughs> All right. This one is not multiple choice. Uh, a little late. What style of beer is named after a goat? Giants. Go ahead, please. Buck. Absolutely there correct. You go. Oh, there you Giants go. coming back within one point. With the goat question. Shat, please give us a Super Bowl question. All right. So largest overall percentage in sales That's for these items. Which one took the top? Tabasco sauce, canned dip, 
or cocktail wieners on Super Bowl day? Which one do you think went up the most? The Giants. Go ahead. Can dip. Oh, cor- incorrect. 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 Dang. Pat, Pats, would you like to steal? <laughs> Interception. Yes. Sure. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, send this out to Doc. Okay, Doc is going to need the answers again. I'm sure of it. No, I'm going with Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce. Oh, incorrect. No. Oh, cocktail wieners. Always go with the cocktail. A hundred and eighteen percent jump for nope. Super Bowl Sunday. No in kidding. Sales. Interesting because that's what JP has every day. <laughs> cocktail wieners. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's a dead ball on the play. We've stopped the clock, and moving on to the next. Wh- uh, another multiple choice for you. Which of these beers was originally a drink for lactating mothers? Hmm? Doppelbach, barley wine, scotch ale, or oatmeal stout? Giants. Go uh, ahead. It, it, go ahead, Giants. Oatmeal stout. That is correct. There you go from the dark beer brewer. And the game is tied <laughs> once more. Now, was that a guess or did you actually know oatmal stout that. was a lactating mother? No, I knew mother? that. You did? Dave, oh. Dave yeah. knew that too, but he's, he's, he's probably having lactating a cataract right ar- arrest right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I had to be quick on the buzzer there. Yes. That's uh, the name of his oatmeal stout. It's called Mother's Does name. anybody know the deal behind that? Why was oatmeal stout a drink for lactating mothers? Because it has oats in it. I think Guinness started it back in the day. They used to yeah, have... Guinness actually started that. Uh, and where where it really comes from, I don't know exactly. But uh, I wonder if it's just a marketing. You know, thing. I thought it was Irish, the Irish, Irish, the Irish would serve Guinness in the hospitals in Ireland because they would serve it to lactating mothers. I see. Yeah, it's probably some marketing. I thought that's just what the Irish babies liked. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, right? start them out early. Yeah. Which is why a lot of Irish have uh, their eyes too far apart. <laughs> <laughs> JV, where are you coming from today? I don't what? even fetal alcohol syndrome when the mother drinks too much, the eyes get really far apart. Yeah, I no. got you, but you are just so far and left. Haven't field you today. seen the Hennings photo? God damn it, the two of you! All right, Chat, please give us another football question. Keep us on track. Uh, are you out? You had two much. questions. I had three. Three. <laughs> you had three. All right, no problem. I'll stick with beer. Multiple choice. Which style? Was the first commercially brewed beer? Was it pale ale, porter, stout, or pilsner? Wow. Uh, Patriots. Go ahead. I'll say porter. <clears throat> that is absolutely correct. There you go. What the porter question? <laughs> the Pats Why, take the yeah. lead once again. What's the score? <clears throat> Recap. Uh, it is six to five. Patriots. Close game. It is uh, a which close quarter game. Are we in? Where are we in? Uh, we're getting down to it already. Oh, we're in the second half. Yeah. We're, oh, okay. oh, I didn't let you go pee, did I? No, no. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do one more question, and then we'll take our halftime break. Oh. All right. Is and like then Schumann's we'll, gonna sing. And then Schumann is yeah, Schumann's gonna come in and sing. We'll go pee and then when we come back, we'll you know they have to set up the field usually. <laughs> There's uh, people running around <laughs> like maniacs. We'll yes, we'll get Schumann in get here. Get the fake fans on there to pretend like they're enjoying themselves. Yes, yeah, Shat will uh, hit the pole. If you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, Doc, don't worry. <laughs> Your two, question before the halftime. Two-minute warning. And the Giants' chance to tie the game before going to break. Very exciting. What is the traditional German toast to your health? Patriots. Go ahead, Patriots. Toast. Say it Prost. again. Yes, absolutely true. Prost. Ooh. And the Pats take a two-point lead. There you lead. go. Oh, oh, like that one out. You, uh, do we because have an argument? Prost, Prost does not mean to help. They say zum Wohl. Oh. oh challenge. Red oh. flag on the field. We do have a I, challenge. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to throw the red flag out on that oh, one yeah, because I challenge. speak German. I, oh, well. I see. Maybe we and should take so, it. Uh, to the literal toast that means uh, to health is zum Wohl. Okay. He's right. Doc is, is also a, a man of, of German descent. And, and I've been to Germany. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> He's right. Wow. So we're taking the point away from the Patriots. It's a tie game. Uh, no, it, he, the Pats are still up one point. Oh. Um, one unless we want to give him like a five yard penalty, also. <laughs> and, I, I don't know what that's going to do. You should, that would go to you, Justin, for having the wrong answer. Yeah, yeah I guess so. All right, penalty on the announcer. Uh, I will take myself back five yards. All right, guys, we're going to take a real quick break. When we come back, Schumann will perform during our halftime extravaganza, and then we will finish 
the it, and actually when we come back it's it's already the fourth quarter because I only got a few questions <laughs> left so uh, stick with us everybody we are here on the first ever Brewing Network Bowl and uh, we're going to find out who's going to win before the actual Super Bowl will it be New England or will it be New York Smutty Nose or Chelsea find out right here on the session stick with us Listening to the Brewcasters. Brewcasters on the Brewing Network. Hi, I'm Sean O'Sullivan, the brewmaster and co-founder of the 21st Amendment Brewery and Restaurant in San Francisco. Six years ago, Nico Freccia and I opened the 21st Amendment on 2nd Street with the intent of bringing back the local neighborhood brew pub. Well, the neighborhood has really changed over the years, but the 21st Amendment still remains a great place for people to meet over a terrific meal and a tasty pint of beer. In the past, the only way you could enjoy the 21st Amendment's handcrafted beers was at the brew pub. Well, all that has changed. Now, the 21st Amendment beers are available in cans. That's right, cans. When was the last time you had a great beer in a can? Well, that day has come. We're offering our world-famous Watermelon Wheat and 21A IPA in cans. Cans are a better package than glass because cans keep the beer fresher longer, but you can also take cans to places where bottles can't go, like the beach, lake, golf courses, and sporting events. So join us in the revolution to take back the can from the big breweries and crack open a cold 21A craft beer in a can. The 21st Amendment, 563 2nd Street in San Francisco, just two blocks from Giant. Park. Be 
Do you have feelings of inadequacy? Do you suffer from shyness? Do you sometimes wish you were more assertive? If you answered yes to any of these questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist about tequila. Tequila Tequila is the safe, natural way to feel better and more confident about yourself and your actions. Tequila can help ease you out of your shyness and let you tell the world that you're ready and willing to do just about anything. You'll notice the benefits of tequila almost immediately. And with a regimen of regular doses, you can overcome any obstacles that prevent you from living the life you want to live. Shyness and awkwardness will be a thing of the past and you'll discover many talents you never knew you had. Stop hiding and start living with tequila. Tequila may not be right for everyone. Women who are pregnant or nursing should not use tequila. However, women who wouldn't mind nursing or becoming pregnant are encouraged to try it. Side effects may include dizziness, nausea, vomiting, incarceration, erotic lustfulness, loss of motor control, loss of clothing, loss of money, loss of virginity, delusions of grandeur, table dancing, headache, dehydration, dry mouth, and a desire to sing karaoke and play all night rounds of strip poker, truth or dare, and naked twister. Warning, the consumption of alcohol may make you think you're whispering when you're not, is a major factor in dancing like a retard, may cause you to tell your friends over and over again that you're in love with them, also may cause you to think you can sing. Alcohol may lead you to believe that ex-lovers are really dying for you to telephone them at four in the morning. Alcohol may make you think you can logically converse with members of the opposite sex without spitting. It may create the illusion that you are tougher, smarter, faster, and better looking than most people, and it may lead you to think people are laughing with you. Alcohol may cause pregnancy, and it also may be a major factor in getting your ass kicked. So what are you waiting for? Stop hiding and start living with tequila. Tequila! Wait till you can pour it out of your own kegerator. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your friends will look at you with awe. And it's just hot. It is? It's so super hot. <laughs> <laughs> The home of live beer radio. Because like beer, radio shouldn't suck. You're listening to The Session. All right, welcome back to the program. It's the first ever BN Bowl between Smutty Nose and also Chelsea Brewing right out of Manhattan, representing New York and New England for the first time ever here on the air. You still with us, fellas? Yep. All right. Yep. Well, now it is time. It's that time in the show. It's that portion of the game where uh, we have a little entertainment. Um, we've hired a um, quote unquote entertainment. Yes, uh, professional. A, a professional musician uh, in the studio with us today, uh, Schumann. We've cleared the field. Hello. Much like Cher, he just goes by one name. That's all I need. Uh, yeah. Shoes. Yeah. And. Um, Schumann is going to perform a, a, a little ditty for us here uh, uh, for the, the halftime of the first ever BN Bowl. Right, and I want to dedicate this to Shaddy. For his birthday? Oh. For his birthday and for feelings. Oh. And for his feelings. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Schumann, I appreciate it, but mm-hmm. fuck feelings. Okay. Oh, good oh. lord. Oh. That hurts my feelings. All right. Where's the calendar? Schumann, go ahead, please. Okay, so something like with a lot of spunk? Is that what is No, that what something kind of manly. It's been a little feminine around here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. Is that the Carpenters? I fell in love with nah, you. All right, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> forget it. Let me get no, the no, chorus no, at no, least. No. No. Yeah, let me I'll give you one yeah. line. Go on. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? All right, that's enough. That's enough. Sorry, okay. Can well, you give us a little something, you know, it's a, it's a, a Super Bowl party. Super Bowl, so, like, football-inspired? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Yes. And locker rooms. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe a, Is I it a sing-along? Sweaty ball. Uh, yeah, at the end. Uh, I want everybody to sing along, okay? All right. Well, not everybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, everybody. This, right. is, this is not discriminatory. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> it, it is now. Just, I admit Bush it. uses it all the time. Yeah. Just, all right. just play the song. Don't worry about your vocabulary. Right. Oh, mom was always wondering why I was into sports and mom was always wondering why I was staying after school. I'm into sports, Mom, and also I'm in the locker room with the boys. I'm in the shower, 
And I drop the soap every time. Everybody, homos, uh, homos, homos, aha. Uh-huh. Everybody, homos. Not that there's anything wrong no with that. No one knows a homo like us. We love homos. <laughs> All right. I guess that's our sports song of the day. Wow. Thank you, uh, Adam Schumann, participating in the halftime show. Wonderful. Thank you. You graduated to two names. Yeah. And uh, you've successfully muted our guests. And yeah. I don't even know who Adam is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, what are these? Uh, oh, these are tiebreaker questions if I need them. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, let's get back to the game. That was awesome. Just as a recap, fantastic. Great Tom job Petty. by Schumann. Yeah, Tom Petty's got nothing on you. And no wardrobe malfunctions or anything. I'm kind of disappointed. In my I'm sure that wouldn't have offended <laughs> anybody. Well, I think those on. assless chaps are meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> did that on purpose. All right, just as a recap, folks at home, if you're playing along, the Giants 5, the Pats Six. Whoa, it's oh. a close game. Yes, as we go into the uh, final quarter of the game, which is more, it's actually a half. Anyone uh, want to bet with me on who's going to win? Yeah, you guys want to place bets? What's yes. the over-under? Uh, yeah, what, how many points are you giving me? Well, we had said that uh, that Dave would be the underdog. So the Pats. Uh, but Dave's up. So. I'll go Chelsea. You're going Chelsea, huh? Yeah. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple beers. Yeah, that's true. Chat, you want to uh, place a bet here? Someone's got a bet against JP. He says uh, he says Chelsea's going to win it. Oh, really? Yeah. I say go Pats. There you go. We got a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Are what you still going to give me twelve points, Chad? Or... Uh, twelve <laughs> points? <laughs> no. Okay. Straight up. Straight up. Straight bet. Yeah. How much you guys going to put? Unusual. How much you guys going to put down? Wanna, is a thousand dollars a lot of money? I don't think so. What do you <laughs> One K. Sully. Yeah. <laughs> Sully, can I borrow some money? <laughs> got what, you covered. You got to put something down. What are you going to put down? Five Coors Lights. Oh, okay. Five? You guys are betting five Coors Lights on these guys. Yeah. Who's I would loser? be if I were them. I'd be offended. I, I love the fact it's a craft brew show, and you threw that out there. Yeah. Well, Even though I'm drinking. Who's the loser on this one? <laughs> Yeah, I think Chad gets Coors Lights because I get to unload five Coors Lights on somebody. All right. Five bucks. Does he have to drink them? No, you can throw them at Schumann. Hmm. Put some cash down. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five, five bucks. It's five bucks. Why not call it ten? Because I'm already we're already in on a bet for twenty bucks. Oh, you are. We're not made of money. Let's call it ten. Yeah, we don't we don't own a brewery and manage a brewer. Chat's ready to call it ten. <laughs> he just called you out. Annie up there. Or hobble boy. into the dental. All right, I'll see your ten. <laughs> All right, I'll let's, see your ten, and let's I'll raise you apple a, woman. I'll raise you a full body massage. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Chris, a uh, lot on the line now, okay? It's uh, not only your reputations, but $10, yeah. you know. Cheers, yeah. And I'm, I'm not sure which is worth more, but uh, tight game. <laughs> it's a close one. Here we go. Gentlemen. <laughs> first to buzz in, name four styles of stout. Giants. Go ahead, please. Oatmeal, Imperial, Export, and Dry Irish. He does it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll yep. give it to him. Those are our. There you go. That was Giants, right? Yeah. Yes, that was Chris. We have a tie game, folks. Oh my Ooh. God! We got Coors Light on the line. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tie game and four questions left. Oh man! In the BN Bowl. Oh man! First to buzz in. What is the Latin word for hops? Russian River. Giants. Go ahead. Uh, Humulus lupulus. That is correct. Oh, my God. Right. The Giants uh, sneaking away. The field goal attempt was good. It's now 7-6. to six. Oh. You do know a lot about sports, Sully. <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> Just trying to help out here with a bit. Here we go. Traditionally... What is a Brewster? Huh? Giants. Go ahead, Giants. It's a female brewer. Oh, my yes. God. A female that brews beer. The Giants oh. starting to walk away. A follow-up question. What's, What's a punky Brewster? <laughs> Sorry. A has-been. <laughs> <laughs> 
You ever seen her rack though when she oh, grew up? Oh, she's hot. Yeah. Soleil Moon Fry. Yeah, she got I love her. Reduced, she got him yeah. reduced. I love the fact that you guys all shame. chimed in on your own little personal porn world right now. <laughs> like you're all there behind your computers. So you all had a connection right there for a yeah. second. <laughs> Sick motherfucker. All right. Now let me tell you uh, what's at stake here. <laughs> I have two questions left. Two. And New England is down two points. Uh oh. Not looking good. Yeah. You can tie, and then we'll go to sudden death overtime, which is not how they play football, but it is how we do things around here. <laughs> or we could just pick somebody. <laughs> <laughs> which is more how we do things around here. Let's go. Historically, where was beer first brewed? Giant Patriot. Oh, Giants. Right under the wire. If the Giants get this right, it's the game. It's over, Johnny. And Chris, think about what outcome you really want here. (laughs) (laughs) I think that Tasty should be a commentator in in real sports. Now, guys, think about your checkbooks, okay? (laughs) It's over. It's over. All right, Chris. Go ahead. It was Sumeria, or what is now known as Iraq. That is correct. Oh, my God. That is correct. The Giants have won the first ever BN Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Chelsea Brewing Company out of Manhattan. Uh, More to the point, I just won 10 bucks of Chad's birthday money. (laughs) Yeah, you did. Soon to win Uh, 20 more. Dave, you know, you put on a strong showing until the end there. Chris just kind of walked away. Dave's girlfriend's going to get a beating. (laughs) (laughs) Again. (laughs) But this time she'll do something wrong. Uh... Chris, you've just won the first ever BN Bowl. What are you going to do next? I'm going to have myself a couple beers and go watch me a football game. Perfect. Oh, That's yeah. the answer we were looking for. Fantastic. But are they beers in the can? I'd like to be going to Disneyland. All right. I will give Dave a chance to uh, to just redeem himself a little bit. Uh would you like to t- would you like to talk smack about Chris? I'll give you sixty seconds <laughs> to, uh, to to lay down some smack about Chris. Well, I, I'm not gonna talk smack about Chris, but I gotta say, man, the the Patriots are losing this game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Chat's with you on that one, and. Uh, 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 Your Dave. little funny game here was all <laughs> cute and dangly. <laughs> but the Pats are going to win. But, <laughs> cute and dangly? At the end of the day, yeah. it's about yeah. the Pats. Yeah. 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 And Tom Petty will play. <laughs> uh, listen, hey, fellas, you guys are a lot of fun. I'd love to have each one of you back on the show to, to talk beer the whole time if you guys are into it. I really appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah, no. Yeah, that'd be fine. Sounds good. All right, very it was cool. Great. Uh, go check out uh, Smutty Nose Beers out of New Hampshire, and of course uh, Chelsea Beers right there in downtown Manhattan. Both fantastic brewers. Any friend of Sully's is questionable uh, <laughs> at best, but uh, you guys did great in the show, and I really appreciate you spending the time. So thanks a lot, fellas. All right, thank thanks, you. Guys. Always, man. Thanks. Enjoy the game right. and feel better out there. It's great talking right. to you. Have yourself a beer. Okay, take, take care. care. Bye, guys. Good right. <laughs> <laughs> He snuck in his last little go pats at the end. Yeah. I like that. He's on the take. All right. Well, that was cool. Those guys are that a good was sport. Great. That was awesome. Uh, well, we didn't know how it would go, too, because we wanted two brewers you didn't plan who uh, wouldn't... Well, we wanted two people that wouldn't be afraid to get in here and compete against each other and, and know that it really didn't mean shit, you know. And uh, they were bo- they were both good sports. Good work, Shat, putting that together. Good job. Not so good work on your on your football questions. Yeah, you had, but, like, the food uh, question. Football-related. What are you going to do, you know? <laughs> You worked hard. How many laces does a shoe have when you're in the stands JP, of the game? How many thousand tons of <laughs> chips are served on Super Bowl Sunday? <laughs> I don't know. Are you buying them or not? For ten bucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> For your B3 sculpture. Oh. 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 Betting the sculpture now. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. JP hasn't even paid that thing yeah. off yet. I mean, I know you want to make good beer, Chad, but come on. <laughs> All right. How's the chat room doing over there, Steph? Everybody's okay? Are they asleep? Yeah, but, but they're talking about religion now, and I can't seem to get them off of it. Why are they the, doing what's that? What's going on? <laughs> they're, they're, they're cracking up jokes about Scientologists and Mormons. Oh. Got, so. uh, that's too easy. That's fun. It's not really that fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but that's what's going on in the chat. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Hey, guys, there's a brewing show going on here, okay? <laughs> Is there? So. It's a whole, a whole different religion. I thought it was a JP stand-up show. Hey everybody, what is with the airplane food? Can I just can I just tell you? Two packs of peanuts for four hours? I mean, come on. 
I'm not in Dachau. <laughs> Yet. All right. Wow. I got to take uh, one last break. We got a couple of beers that we're going to try here. Some listener beers, right? Yeah. Why do you have them? Sean's already opening them. <laughs> what happened is uh, Dave uh, Little, McGruffus in the form, he yeah. uh, brewed a couple of uh, beers, one with my both my recipes, actually, the uh, uh, double IPA and then uh, the... Uh, the watermelon wheat, his version of it, which he calls surprisingly melon head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's good. So, and then I also one. have a melon beer that, meat. uh, that, can love once. <laughs> uh, Bad Rock <laughs> sent me some, uh, 1050 uh, Imperial Stout in cans. Mm. That's right. Cans. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try that too. Sorry, I gotta get off this whole <laughs> out in the outfield voice. Oh, God! <laughs> Go to break. All right. When we come back, we got some gift giving to do to Fat Shat. Yeah. And we got some uh, beer to taste. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll get an encore presentation out of Schumann. Who knows? Stick with us. It's the session. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Brewcasters on the Brewing Network. Did you know that every day a brewcaster goes to bed hungry? Did you know that that brewcaster is silently calling for the help of people just like you? Do you know that every day the unicorn and the rainbow have to blow sailors for loose change? For less than the cost of a half-calf, quad-shot, venti, extra-hot, soy milk, triple-pump, hazel, low-fat foam, double-cupped macchiato a day, you can help starving adults in Pacheco. Your love can be felt for as little as seven cents a day. Visit thebrewingnetwork.com slash donate to sign up today for as little as $2 a month. Private first class in the BN Army. Buy your way up the ranks as corporal, sergeant, ranger, or colonel with an easy-to-do monthly donation that keeps brewcasters alive and your favorite internet radio station broadcasting. No donation is too small to help those in need. Can't you find it in your heart to share your love with a brewcaster? In return, you will enjoy the wealth of knowledge that comes with every episode of the session. The Jamil Show and Yes even that other show. Thank you for listening, and please sign up for your donation at thebrewingnetwork.com slash donate today. Well, I have to confess I love you so much I sing to the skies When my lips you touch From the very highest mountain top Declaring stridently I love you so much I want you inside of me, beer I love you, beer I love you, beer I love you, beer Please fill me up Like a port side whore When she takes on the crew Of a man of war Oh, fill me to the brim And I'll call out for more I take so much of you Until my throat grows sore Oh, fear I love you, beer. I love you, beer. I love you, beer. From my head down to my feet, it's you that makes me complete. Cause I don't wanna see. I love you when you're warm I love you when you're cold I love you when you are new And I love you when you're old To the gates of hell I swear It's you I follow I love you so much I'd even swallow You dear I love you, beer. I love you, beer. I love you, beer. Keeping your poop in a 
jar Till the day you come back So I don't forget just what you are Yeah, I'm keeping your poop in a jar You thought you took everything But you left something behind for me I scooped it out I bottled it up And now it's there on the stand By the bed to remind me In case I ever forget You're just a piece of poop Even your poop in a jar Till the day you come back So I don't forget just what you are Yeah, even your poop in a jar I'll play me some brown sound So I opened the lid for a smell It all came back to me, baby One vaporous rush I remembered you well How could I ever forget I offered you a piece of poop I'm keeping your poop in a jar Till the day you come back So I don't forget just what you are Yeah, I'm keeping your poop in a jar Keeping your poop in a jar Till the day you come back So I don't forget just what you are Yeah, keeping your poop in a jar Keeping your poop in a jar Keeping your poop in a jar Keeping your a poop in a jar What have you gotten out of a vial of White Labs yeast? WLP 001, Cal Ale, baby! 23, Burton Ale. 008, East Coast Ale. Cal Common, WLP 810. It's gonna be WLP 400 with beer! I got a sweet hoodie for my vial. Huh? White Labs, your source for great brewer's yeast, would like to invite all homebrewers to join the White Labs Customer Club. Redeem your empty vials for great White Labs merchandise and products. Free yeast, glassware, t-shirts, baseball caps, sweatshirts, polo shirts, and you won't believe what you'll get for 5,000 vials. Members also receive a newsletter packed with White Labs updates and facts, interviews with professional brewers, brew your own clone recipes, beercook.com recipes, and customer club stories. The White Labs Customer Club. Save your vials and get in the club. White Labs. It's all in the vial. Mix me your 100 grain amber recipe and I'm going to eat it. And then it can ferment in my gut. It totally works. The beer is almost identical to the grain sandwich. Your colon won't know what hit it. <laughs> the, yeah. the home of live beer radio. TheBrewingNetwork.com Because like beer, radio shouldn't suck. You're listening to The Session. You're listening to The Brewing Network. Because like beer, radio shouldn't suck. Yeah. Welcome back to the program. Big thanks and uh, and a good job to Dave and Chris. Uh, Dave from Smutty Nose and Chris yeah. from Chelsea. Those guys were awesome. Oh, man. they were Dude, great. He said job. Ooh, fellas, man. <laughs> Hope they come out like to visit family or guys. something again out here. We get them in the studio. I bet they'd be a lot of fun to hang out. They're really out. cool guys, and, yeah. uh, and we're all cool that worked at 20 Tank. Everyone at 20 Tank was cool. Yeah. <laughs> just like the mark of cool. Yeah, I don't know where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> no, just big thanks to them, guys. I appreciate you doing the show. You can check them out uh, online. You can go to smuttynose.com or you can go to chelseabrewingco.com and check them both out. Go visit them, buy their beer, and uh, talk about them to your friends. Yeah, talk about fitting right in, too, out yeah. of the gate. Oh, yeah, they jumped yeah, right in yeah. there. 
Cool guy. No problem there in the form. Chat did. <laughs> yeah, and the chat was okay. Yeah, they were okay. They went under religion. They were okay with it. I think next year I'm just going to have you be like co-announcer, and the, like you're there. You're the color man. And uh, so, oh, 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 that, that next, name went out in the fifties. Not on. colored man, oh. color man. He's a color man. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, what's funny is I know nothing about sports. That's perfect. Absolutely not. And, but last night after That's we did the, funny. Yeah. after we did the KYOU show yesterday, uh, we were talking about Bodog. You were, you and I were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went and started an account last night and I bet on the Super Bowl. You did? I did. <laughs> who'd you who'd you bet? You know it, what it was? It was the equivalent of like going and get like a scratcher for the lottery or something like that and yeah. just doing that. Yeah, with no see. clue. I bet on like the first. Coin for toss. Who was going to receive? Nice. Who's going to receive? Who's going to get like the biggest bag of chips? Type of human. Yep. That's who I bet on. And uh, how much did you throw down? Like fifty bucks. Did you? Yeah. On the coin toss. toss. No, the coin toss was five. I did like about. He spread Eight. his money around. Yeah, I spread it around. You know, want okay. to diversify. You just haven't seen his checking book, but his ba- show him the balance. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're showing everybody else. Show, show them. <laughs> he just he wears it on his forehead. This is my balance. Well, it's a big forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the. Uh, I mean, just so we can say it now, I want the Giants to win. That's in my heart. But I think the the Pats are going to do it. So it's why is heart. that in your heart? You don't, I don't know. Care. My heart it's been in his heart since Alaska. You know what? We were driving really? up from Alaska yeah. with Nico and uh, and Adrian. We we're coming up from Seward, which is like the southern town in uh, Alaska, I've back to there. Anchorage, and we're cruising along. And, uh, <laughs> and okay, I'll recognize you later. Uh, and we were and we were driving along, and I, I I was I was rooting for Green. Was it Green Bay? No, he didn't even know who was playing is for a while, and we didn't understand all the ass. lingo. And so like Nico's trying to explain but it. But basically, us all. the bottom line is I flipped. To the Giants as they were winning. I see. I, so I think ro- I'm going to root for the Giants now. I was rooting for Bet Far because I like C- Ch- Campbell's Chunky Soup. Also, who's Bet Far? <laughs> Your worst nightmare, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I bet on the game. That's the bottom line. Okay. So I got the uh, Patriots by twelve. You do. But you're still yeah. rooting for the Giants. So, so you're but, rooting but for the Giants. How much are you going to win? I mean, you're, you're if I put down twenty five bucks, I think I make seventeen or something like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sully, what the hell? Man up, man. Get it in. Get yeah. Put some money down. On the Super Bowl, yeah, he's you already always... sweating because he's got money riding. You always go Doesn't with the what. underdog, man. That pays the most. Sully's new money. He doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I buy silver and gold together and put it on the man. It looks really tacky, but yeah. that's because of new money. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know how to talk about I love that. Oh, they're new money. <laughs> he he bought a silver Vespa. <laughs> he's new money. Platinum with, Vespa. The brown seat. Who does that? It should be black. <laughs> it should be. If you were a Kennedy, it would have been black. <laughs> All right, eight 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 four zero one beer. That's the number. If you got anything to say, we're here for I don't know as long as this next segment takes, basically. But uh, definitely off by three. I think the game starts at three eighteen Pacific time. When are we getting off? Uh, Six eighteen Eastern, uh, as soon as possible. Okay. As soon as wow. you get the cast off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do have some gift giving to do. And by the oh, way, I want to do that. I want to point out that Shat is drinking beer out of a Patriots sippy cup, a, a forty ounce <laughs> Patriots yeah. sippy cup. So in case he drops, it doesn't spill. I mean, what's going on over there? Is that that's just the only Patriots Cup you had? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. So basically, when they won the <laughs> uh, AFC money. East, <laughs> my father picked this up for me. Division champs. Oh man, it's awesome. Now he's no <laughs> money, and it doesn't look tacky at all. No. <laughs> Yeah. It has a giant handle on the yeah. side of it. It doesn't look like I could. So your dad bought. It doesn't look like I could fill no. it for free with a tank of gas. It's my New England <laughs> Stein. Now his dad bought the large Diet Coke and. Got for a nickel more, he got that. <laughs> a nickel more, and he got the, the souvenir like that. glass. You yeah, New England he's, he's Stein. New you know, I do have a good story. My father was at the game. Uh, I doubt it. A couple weeks ago. It was so cold, but I think that was a game that was like zero at halftime, right after Green Bay that Sean said he was watching. Uh, <laughs> And they were drinking Coors Light. His buddy was drinking Coors Light. He's drinking Sam Adams. His buddy went to take a piss. He came back. His Coors Light was frozen solid. Really? Could not wow. drink for, out of the bottle. My father's just <laughs> laughing. He's like, I'm drinking Sam Adams. He's calling me. He's all Sam fired Adams, up. don't freeze. <laughs> oh, man. It was yeah. awesome. Wow. Wow. The Coors actually froze. Solid. Yeah. I was in a heated car. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what do you think? Alaska. I mean, you got to wait in a line, right? Probably at a football game, uh, take a piss. Yeah, I mean, that's like yeah. 15 minutes. How so long could it be? That's it depends. Not, yeah. <laughs> Just go right you know, in. If you have uh, depends, like if, me. If you're on my medication, uh, you could be there for a long Hold time. Hold on, I'm going right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm frozen. Yeah. All right, 888-401-BEER. And uh, we have our first, uh, I think, birthday wishes. Let's see who's on the phone right now. Caller, who are we talking to? 
Hey, this is Shat's dad. Yeah! yeah. Bob, how are you yeah, doing? Yeah, baby. I heard you making fun of that hot chocolate cup <laughs> I gave him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, and that, it's, it's for hot chocolate, not yeah. beer. You know? I told you. I, the last game, I went to the San Diego game, and I was looking, these, watching these guys trying to drink Coors Light out of a plastic bottle. It was frozen. Wow. That sounds tasty. See, Bob's a but cool guy. But I had guy. my Sam Adams. My Sam Adams didn't freeze. That a boy. Let, check this out. So uh, I met uh, Bob you know, a couple years ago when Chat moved in. He's a good dude, Chat's dad. And uh, he was a Coors Light man when he uh, came into our fold. And now he is, not only does he enjoy craft beer, this man preaches the word of craft beer <laughs> all over town. He's, and he I, hands out brewing. I do. Well, flyers. you know, Chad mailed me out like... 4,000 business cards. Oh, he did? And these business cards are like five by sevens, you know. Yeah, they're giant. <laughs> Sounds like he's the VP of sales for Sam Adams, too. He is an evangelist on the job. for craft beer, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you got to go with Tasty and Shat to the Sam Adams deal, didn't you? I did. That was an awesome day. Yeah, they drunk dialed me, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, Bob's good at the drunk dial, too. I like getting calls from you, Bob, when you're drinking. That's good. <laughs> Do it anytime you want. Oh, that was the night of the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> that was the night of the wedding. That's right. Well, I understand uh, Schumann called in, too. Yeah, he did. I got drunk dialed from everybody. I think, I'm pretty yeah. sure that Shat's dad is a lot cooler than Shat is. <laughs> uh, that's true. Hey, how's Very he doing good. today? Good, good. You know, it's his birthday. I'm not going to say how old he is. But. Oh, man. It's okay. Everyone knows. Yeah, oh, the big knows. 3 right. oh. oh. Thanks for calling in, Dad. His balls just dropped. Hey, so the Patriots lost today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah, you are three hours ahead. You already know what happened. I mean, there's that other game, but the big game? Yeah, the Patriots That's what everybody's lost. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, we all know who's going to win that game. <laughs> I guess we do. Oh, yeah. That's like the way he talked to Chat uh, you know, growing up. Yeah. Well, you know how was, who's going to win that one. Yes, uh, we all know who the big man is here, don't yeah. we, Chad? Okay. Yeah. Hey, he used to take me to the uh, Foxborough back in the day. Strip shitty club? stadium, shitty team. I mean, they've come a long way, so yeah. pretty exciting times the last yep. few years. You get to go to all those games, don't you, Bob? I get to go to a few of them. What do you got? A, you, you know a bookie or something? No, they only invite me when it's like 12 degrees out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else wants to go. They've called everybody else. <laughs> they called everybody else, and then they this Bob, you know. Hey, this Bob. Bob will go. Yeah. So Bob listens to every show that we do. He's a loyal listener. And I always feel bad because... On Monday... Yeah, on Monday morning. I always feel bad because, you know, we talk so much shit about oh, Shat man. on this show. And I know that every Monday his dad's listening to it's it. It's all a bit. Yeah. I can only hope that he's chuckling in the background. It's just a bit. That's what I've been told. It's just a bit. No, Bob, Bob probably going there, yeah, good one, Justin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he is stupid. Oh, you reamed my son the other week. God, that was funny. He <laughs> deserves it, that jerk. So, Bob, where are you uh, watching the game? I'm over at the Casey's right now. Oh. Bill and Cindy, uh, family friends. Oh. Good family people. friends. Yeah. Oh, oh, Bill and Cindy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're over game. there watching, getting ready to watch the game. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Well, anything, All right, listen, any, I'm going to uh, let you guys go. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What are you drinking? Oh, it sounds like you've been drinking. Yeah. Are you, do you got a beer in front of you? Guinness. Nice. Guinness. Uh, right. And do you have any final wishes for your son on his birthday? No, I just want to have a great day. All right. Aww. That's nice. Yeah. That is Thanks, nice. Dad. All right, wait, wait, wait. Go I... Pats, huh, brother? Hey, Bob, can I, ask you... Pats. can I ask you a question real quick? Go ahead. What do you think about Crazy Bitch? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. I got I'm sorry. I <laughs> right had to bring the gutter. Up. It's not like he's asking Chat's mom. Like JP right. sinks the well, show. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to the, you know, the rest of the story. <laughs> yeah. That's it, what I thought. I think he enjoyed his birthday. Justin, Justin promised us that last week, didn't That's he? That's true. Yeah, I do have a little follow-up to last week's. Uh, That's true. Or the, the last yeah. show that we did. It's, so you don't sit around sure. cringing when you hear those? You actually enjoy yeah. listening to the crazy bitch stories? It's yeah, only a bit. They're fine. They're fine. They're, you know, it's a bit. I told you, Bob's yeah. a lot cooler than Chad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my brother. Hey, thanks for calling right. in, and have a good day. All right, you guys too. Later. All right, Dad. Hey, Chad, Adios. your other birthday present just showed up. All right. Uh, Beavis <laughs> just walked in the room, and she's naked, everybody. Hey! Oh, hey. Chad's birthday. Uh, oh, happy birthday to me. She put on her... <laughs>
<laughs> Excuse wow. me, Steady. I have yeah. to go finish. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. All right, let's give Shat a, a gift. I think that Jay Brew brought him something special. Was that already given? No. No? Okay, good. Yeah, Jay We're Brew. Give it to him. Uh, um, and, and those of you in, in the forum, you know Jay Brew. He hangs out a lot, and he lives near us. He came to hang out with us and brought Shat a special treat that I think you're going to enjoy, Shatsy. And uh, you should enjoy it because you're not getting anything else. Looking forward to it. Yeah, nobody else got you a damn thing. Like Sully, for example. Oh, I blew all it. his money didn't bring you a thing. <laughs> Later, brother. Just I thought some you were love. flying him someplace. Brought some love. Don't worry. It's all taken care of. <laughs> yeah. From the backfield. <laughs> Here comes Sully with a can of Paps. Oh. oh. Wow. Are you kidding me? What'd you get? Plenty of the younger. Plenty the younger. Oh, are you sh- kidding me? One of Shat's I want to do favorite. something special for Shat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to just man. get him some uh, Plenty of the Younger instead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank I you very to much, special, but I'm not gay, so I gave him <laughs> oh, beer. Man. You have no Let's idea. That. That. That's his favorite uh, beer right there. Pliny. Any version of Pliny. Pliny. Yeah, it's yeah, like wait. a freaking growler. Once, a, you, once we take one drink out of that, we got to drink it all. You know? yeah, well, it's, it's a double team. Here you go. It is a Russian wow. River growler of Pliny. Thanks a lot, man. Hand delivered. Did you pick it up at the brewery this morning? Uh, two? I, no, I didn't have time. I had to come too early, so I picked it up on uh, on Friday. Actually, I, I picked it up two weeks ago, yeah. and uh, <laughs> it's been out on my roof, been on my car. radiator, it's been on my porch, just in style. <laughs> yeah, that's that is how we store beer around here. Actually, if you go look at the back porch right now, yeah. you'll see. No, uh, Shad has two growlers. Wow, now. look at that. Two, plenty. It, they multiplied. Wow. You know what? I had a little taste this week at the Toronado of the Younger. They had it on oh my for the uh, Strong Beer Month. I get Liquid yeah. little oxycotton, taste, and yeah. it was like. Wow. I mean, it's, this stuff's awesome. You know, we should have got him, Jay Bruce, at one of those uh, swirly straws. He could just pop the top and put a straw right in there. That's in the car. Oh, okay, good. All right. right. So, so JP, is this other one from you, or what's the deal? Yeah. Oh, I see. One from JP. JP. Yeah, well, Jay Jay Bruce is going up there anyway. Jay and Bruce, thanks Thanks for saving that last joke, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we got another call here. Maybe some more birthday wishes. I hear your dentures flapping. Push, what's happening, brother? Meat flaps. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, push. hey, push. Hey, push. hey, hey, push. Captain hey, Energy over hey, here. buddy, just push Happy it real good. Chat. I just oh, took a thanks, popper. Brother. What are you up to? Push is like you fl- just what? Push is like Flanders. Hi, diddly o. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> yeah. He is the most energetic married guy I've ever <laughs> met in my life. So what are you guys doing, lady? You want to get together, huh? You want to do something? What's up? Come on here. Well, let me show you my Johnson. Just go to the left auditorium. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the Burbank Airport for a beer. <laughs> when you, you know, get, and I could be there. Tell remember what beer that was? Yeah, it was shitty beer. Yeah, you asshole. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. I'm not yeah. doing Hey, listen, this is about Shat, not you, Tully. Oh, hey, right. Thanks for calling in, brother. How are you? I'm great. How Happy you birthday, I'm you great. fat bastard. <laughs> no, thanks, brother. <laughs> I just got some Pliny the Younger put in front of me, brother. As well, you should. Life is good. So listen, we're gonna crack uh, it. You know, double check the ID on that thing, yeah. but then you know, slowly slip the pants off. <laughs> oh, and, oh Whoa. wait, the young. Yeah. Oh, a are you beer. talking to JP? Yeah, it's a beer. It's a beer. Oh, oh yeah. you got Go a bump. beer. Okay, yeah. all night long. <laughs> All right. Hey, Push sent us one of the songs that played in the last break. By the way, good song. The, Very good song. The I love oh, you I'm... beer song. Oh, you know what? Yeah, the guy who wrote it and, and performed it sitting right next to me. We're working on that album as we speak. Please tell him that he wrote a, a genius of a song. I love it. Good tune. Good tune. Hey, Stu, the song played in the last break. Yeah, he didn't really want you to right do it now. now. That's yeah. just a thing for the radio. Push yeah, it. you know, I threw it out there, Sully. It took all of three seconds. <laughs> you rat, bastard. So, Push, what Jesus are you doing Christ. for the Super Bowl? You, uh, you know, you rubbing your wife's feet or having another child? What are you doing? Cleaning We're it. finishing up a record right now. I'm sitting in the studio in a windowless room getting my tan. Yeah. Hold on. Keep Say it slower this time. <laughs> <laughs> Use a deeper voice. <laughs> my hands are tied behind my back, Sully, and there's a ball in my mouth. No! <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh! Get the Did you get. finish? <laughs> this dog will hunt. All right, so this is about, right. this is about Chad. Chad, happy birthday, brother. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> Later, All Push. Right, to talk to you. Cheers. All right. We calls in for happy birthday wishes and he just gets barraged. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a tough room tonight. We've really set the pace here. Eight 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 four oh one beer if you too want to be abused. Uh <laughs> feel free to line up. Call in and do that. So Beavis, is she still here? Where'd she go? She left. She's coming back. Oh, all right, because there's a gift from a listener for her. Me and Sully got a gift. This is back from Christmas from uh Chicken from Plisse, from Chicken Boy. Uh, it says to Justin and Sh- <clears throat> Shano, love 
Fifty G and Chicken Boy. Nah, uh, Fifty G. So and it's wrapped in toilet paper. He told me we should do it on the air. That's why I've been holding it. Yeah, it is wrapped in toilet paper. It just kind of, kind of creeps me out, and that's why you are opening it. Uh, <laughs> that looks like a. Uh, we might need a knife of some sort to cut that. You gonna be able to do that, Sully? Sully has your strong hands. Hold on, I need to take a breath. It's your arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> ID, watch out. I hope it's a good gift. You know, I hate going. It's a big gifts. box. Yeah, it's a large Lots box. of paper. Oh dear. Here we go. What do you got there? Oh, he's very protective about these things. Okay. Yeah, something, Jesus Christ! Something to put, wow, it's Just a box of paper. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> could you open it right in front of the microphone? There, <laughs> ah! It's a tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's the funniest great. thing John has ever done, and he's not this even is, here. This is the back. Uh, tell him the backstory on so this. So the backstory is when we did the anniversary party, and the session band played live. We called Sully up on stage with us, and uh, John has a tambourine attached to his drum kit. Yeah, this is funny. And I'm like, you know, let's not make Sully just stand here like a dope. Let's give him an instrument. Which he was doing. So I said, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, John, can can Sully have your tambourine? And this is on stage while we're like everything's set to the, go. The song is already begun. Like yeah. We're up there playing the uh, opening notes to Gin and Juice. And I go, hey, you know, why don't you let Sully have your tambourine? And he looks at me, uh, deadpan, he's serious, no. <laughs> it was like, And I go, what? and I thought he, I thought maybe it was just a dry joke. And I said, really, you're you're not going to give me your tambourine? And he looks at me again and he said, no. He's like, no. <laughs> he would not give <laughs> up his there, tambourine. He's sitting there drumming going, no. Uh-uh. So, and he wasn't even playing it. So Sully had to stand <laughs> yeah. there like a dope. And but just now, sway. But now it's funny that he's giving you your own tambourine. Well, well, John, I mean, you, you, you can probably get me back in bed again, but uh, that's questionable. <laughs> but you don't have my heart yet. So let's uh, let's just take it slow and but see where it goes. There's XOXO written on there. Yeah, well, you know, he's trying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, get, p- please sit back down, Shat. Make somebody else do your job uh, because we've got some phone calls coming in for you. You're not totally out of your job, but uh, yeah. you're semi out of your job. Out of your mind. Send Beavis or something. Everyone can look at her ass when she walks in and out of the Whoa, room. Oh, she's right there in the chat room. <laughs> Flag on oh, the play. Oh, hey, Beva. <laughs> You're supposed to say, I'm over Thank here. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Well, well, you came in late. We Bevo, have to it looks like you, you just uh, got... Where did you come from? Church? You I look old. Church. Yeah. Did you? Oh, jeez. Go really? Jesus. Yeah. That comes with that slutty outfit. I didn't just come from church. I had like some stuff I had to do after church, but it was rough for me to get yeah. here early. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good effort. Hey, bub. Train a couple of the altar boys. Hey. What's happening, brother? Hey. You should have got over my cowbell. Yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. F you, JP. Are you, like, on Angry Juice today? <laughs> Dude, this is a rough room oh, right now, my friend. He didn't even get his... Wow. Two-minute warning. My that's... computer just shut down on me. I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, got, like, two kids, like, stealing all my chips and dip, and uh, I wanted to say hi to the puker, and look what I get. Yeah. <laughs> got to keep those little fuckers in line. <laughs> all right. Do you have anything to say to chat? Yeah, shit. Thanks for making my uh, limo ride hell. <laughs> oh. You're very welcome. Uh, Anytime, buddy. And another, that's so true. That was the first time I met Chad, actually. Another good anniversary party. Hey, hey, Is yeah, that yeah, one? Was it? Know, maybe yeah. roll down the window next time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried. He wouldn't through. let me, that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the there limo. There were two guys in the fault. back that were throwing up, and I said, Who is that guy, Justin? He's like, That's my roommate. He's a really cool guy, though. Yeah. <laughs> but he's <laughs> vomit all over Yeah, him. I'm glad that like, both the hurlers like were in the back next to the windows. Yeah. Here's how Shet introduced himself to me. I'm pretty sure it was Shet. You can say hi later, Chloe. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, um, <laughs> why, why would he say that to you? That's weird. <laughs> he comes up to me. He's like, I've been one of Justin's friends for like ever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. That I was had, Schumann. I had known him for like three weeks at that point. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there was some fat bastard at the anniversary show that said that. <laughs> I thought it was I, I think Every were, other listener. <laughs> I think you were looking in the mirror. But. I think that was Joe, the other puker. Oh, okay. yeah, I knew yeah. You know, they look a lot alike, though. You're right. Yeah. Well, one <laughs> fat except, I'm not Mexican, all except that one's a Mexican. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do? And all you see is puke. You hey. don't really see color. Yeah, but, but, yeah really. I'm, uh, Actually, I had a lot I'm of color. worrying about, about Oz taking out a, a Pakistani in the middle of <laughs> Oakland. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oz was going to talking to my friends like that, motherfucker? I will kill you. Bub, you got to get out here this year for the anniversary party. You know what? He's posting out on us. No. Oh, dude. Yeah. He's the oh, one who I made me. He's like, me, him and his wife goes, you know, you got to give me the date. Give us a date because we're going to be there. He calls you back, and I don't know. He's got. He has to go to like a, 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 a one of those baby showers or something. Something gay. No, no, no dude. It's well, my he, parents' fiftieth anniversary. Same day. And your point yeah. is, yeah, baby they, they shower. Should be, they, they, they probably won't have another one. Yeah, they they should be alone <laughs> for that. Well, you know what? Trust me, my, I've already asked my mom. Are you sure there's not another date? Yeah. yeah. Is ours written in stone? 
I'm actually, this is how much I enjoy having Bub around. He's a lot of fun. He's I'm cons- great. I'm considering moving the date so, that, so that Bub can yeah. make it out. Totally. If you move the date, we'll be out there. I'll be out there with my cock out. Yeah, I might do it the week. <laughs> well, then forget it. I'm can you fly it. all the way out here with it? Right. Here's That's the deal. How I you sell came the deal. up with something for the anniversary show. I'll do a little bit of Shat's job. You will? Bub's chest contest. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Just stay out. <laughs> yeah, forget it. Hey, what's the contest for January? Or February now, it's actually. February, Sorry. Yeah. It's to try not to be a loser, but Bub's already winning. <laughs> wow, Losing. there you go. I think Bub was right about Quite JP. the comeback. Bub, what is Whoa. it? <laughs> what is it, Bub? Try uh, not to be a loser. February, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What the fuck? Come on, think I on your feet. your job was producer, not mine. Well, you do a good no, no, job I... at a little monthly thing. All right, I, gotta go, I got other calls coming in, Bub. Uh, they're the ones talking. I'm just... Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for the phone call. Sean Paxton, what's happening? Hey! Sean. He's listening to the radio instead. <laughs> He's falling asleep. Pax, A. Hey. hey, Pax. Hey! <laughs> He's close talker. Hey. went up already. Yeah, it did go off early. I thought I'd give him a chance to say happy birthday. It turned into a whole mess. What are you going to do? <laughs> what's happening, Pax? <Paxton? laughs> Wow. Wow. Sean really Yo, liked brother. It. What's up, brother? What's up, Paxi? How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Have Is you this got... thing working? It's working. Yeah, you got birthday wishes for Shat? No. <laughs> no, he just wants to hear his voice What's on the radio on? like the rest of us. <laughs> Can't hear What's up, Sean? <laughs> hey. Hey, now. <laughs> Dude, are you loaded right yeah. now? Are you <laughs> Am I loaded? Are you Not drunk yet. of the week? Not, well, I'm actually, I'm thinking about working on it, actually. Mm. Tonight might be a good night. For drunk of the you week. should turn your radio down. It's really distracting me. Yeah, you can't listen and talk at the same time. Sean, what are you drinking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? Wow. Okay, I can't do okay, this. You gotta know where, give you, him the words. you got to know where Sean lives. He lives in Sonoma County, which means they just don't drink beer there. Yeah. You get high just driving through. <laughs> oh. I can't do is this. Is this a bit? It's awful. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Is that a Skype or whatever he's doing? It's a bad on? connection, Paxi. You're going right. to have to either use a landline or, you know, I just, I can't do it. I've done enough just bad get radio. Here, down here to the studio. Jesus the Christ. Year. You know, that's going to be the new thing instead of, oh, uh, yeah, I'm calling to check my Skype connection. It's, oh, I just called the laugh real loud for no reason. <laughs> called the cackle. Yeah. Bevo, you want to open your gift there that you got from somebody? Yeah. Let me yes, loosen. Sure. Let right. me loosen my belt. Hold on. Tell us who it's from. It's a listener sent it to you. I got it uh, like a week from ago. From Matt in Fort Collins, it says, "Congrats on getting married. I hope this book helps you get through med school." Med school. It's probably med school. Oh, med school. Because yeah. you're. Uh, yeah. It's learn your ABCs. Your day yeah. job. Oh, that looks I like an A. Hope it's a book on how to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I would. I should sing to chat married. for his birthday because apparently yeah. that's what I do, even though I you don't remember that. A lot of guys oh, you don't oh. remember singing. Oh, oh people loved it. Oh, yeah, they had a really nice God. voice. <laughs> yeah, after you open your gift, I think you're gonna have motor. to lead us. No, I'm not like doing it. that. What do you mean? Not singing. No, no people no, really liked horrible. it. No, they loved it. Uh, and I see, listened to the show. That was not good. <laughs> yeah, but now you're sober, so if you didn't like it, then you can you can kind of can really try. Yeah. Okay, if you're not gonna do that, can you just open up the goddamn present? Opening it. You know, Bevo, you should sing because Sully. Actually, we didn't listen to any of that show, and the only part that he said we needed to listen to was you singing because you had such a beautiful voice. And because he got a stiffy. Yeah. (laughs) What's that? So what's your book? The Art of Pole Dancing. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Doc, you want to check that out, or uh, just leave it to Bevo? I will never need that book again. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. Are there pictures? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at the diagram. I'm going to have to borrow that that for about five minutes. When wearing tracking? They're like cartoon diagrams. That's That's great. Well, between that and the DVD, you could be a real pro here soon. I could, but I'm not going to. As you slide your right hand down the pole, gracefully bend over and hoist your sexy butt. In he the said pole. What's happening? <laughs> there's like, there's actually like descriptions in the party animal. So, so basically, wanna... Beavis just came from school, and now she's uh, church or church. church church, excuse me, Sunday school, and now yeah. is uh, learning how to t- <laughs> pole dance. Pole dance. Thank you. So you, you really don't very wanna... interesting hey, life. Flying. It's all learning. You can never stop learning in life. <laughs> you, you really don't want to sing Happy Birthday to Shat. Other people sing with me. Uh, what if we sing in the second half? Can I sing with you? No, you all need to Come on. Come on, Bebo. Come on. No. It's so good, though. All right. Yeah, okay. People really enjoy it. No, I got to tell you, a number of male listeners Mm -hmm. really contacted (laughs) me directly. No, Vanna Vanna liked it. She she thought you did. Well, Vanna's a a woman of her own. Yeah. (laughs) She has an interesting company. Justin, you should sing. 
I can't sing. You can sing. Not Even like you can sing. Heard you Who's sing? ever heard a dude sing like uh, Happy yeah, Birthday Marilyn Monroe style? JP, you want to give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. Ew. Why do you do that sound? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oy, 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 oy. Happy birthday. All right. Oh, God. I'm going to make up another beer. Can we mute him? <laughs> I was liking it. Here's your book back. Thank you. So, see, now that he did that, like, yeah. you, you know, Bevo, you should show him how it's done. I don't have the boobs for it either, no. so okay. it's not, it doesn't come out as good. No singing You have Bevo. boobs. Schumann, you want to give it a try? Your yeah. best Marilyn Monroe impression for, uh... For Why does it always have to turn uh, yeah. gay? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a stupid Happy question. Happy birthday to you. I've been smoking for 45 years. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The other day, my husband said, oh, Marge. Oh, Shep, what are you wearing? <laughs> you sound like a really bad Neil Diamond. Yeah. We're Happy coming to Shep's birthday. <laughs> Schumann, singing to, Schumann singing to him like the birthday clown did to me when I was five. <laughs> I'll do my best Marilyn Monroe impersonation. All right. Oh, oh, Mr. Kennedy, oh! <laughs> sorry. We meant in, in singing the birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Doc, you want to try your best Marilyn Monroe? Uh, no. No. No, but I got a birthday present for uh, shot. Oh, you do? Yep. You get it. Uh, yeah. All expense paid brew session in the Doc Brewery. Oh. Hey. Wow, wait a minute. Can you have guests for that? Yeah. President ever. I mean, yeah. I'm talking about guests. Yeah, we'll have to wait till I can walk again, but... Uh, yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Sure. Wow, that's, that's a awesome. nice gift. You pick this style, we'll brew it. Cool. Thanks, man. Sure. You know, when I, I did, last time I did that, we won third in the club only competition, I'll have you know. Nationwide, man. And yeah. you couldn't walk for a week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also couldn't walk for a week. Ah. Yeah. This is uh, Stevie Wonder singing Happy Birthday to Shat. He called in this week. So I want to I want to get this out to Shat. I know he's a brother. Is Stevie going to come in anytime, or what's going on here? No, he just sent this. Thanks, Stevie. Yeah, sounds great. Doesn't it? Sounds like a blind guy playing music. <laughs> yeah. I love Stevie Wonder. Who doesn't? Yeah. I don't. You don't love Stevie Wonder? I don't. No. No. Oh, the city. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still alive? He is. Yeah, but he's still blind, though, so he doesn't really know. Yeah. This is like a, oh, yeah. This is a total, like, uh, halftime. Yeah. It's safe. There you go. Isn't that nice of Stevie to send that in, chat? He wrote it just for you, and not in 1983. There, there you go. Never understood. Wow. So I'm having the melon head right now. Yeah, you are. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to taste that listener beer. Tell us about it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a watermelon wheat. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> Who does that? Who the hell is And it's called Melonhead? Melonhead. It's got a great little... Uh, I think you should change the name of your watermelon wheat to Melonhead. Oh, we're changing it. Don't worry. Uh. You are changing it, aren't you? Yeah. I didn't think you were going to change the whole name of it. I thought you were just changing kind of the branding. But you're changing the name of the beer. We're going to make it a little bit more interesting. Can you tell us some of the names that you threw out, like that you had thought of, but then you said, nah, no, we're not going to do no, that? I can't do that. Why oh, not? Sully. It's all been signed over. You know what? The chat room's going to, they're going to say that you don't give enough information. <laughs> I know. Yep, and, yep, and, yep, 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 uh, yep. And then yep. we're, we're going to lose a listener or two. You've got too many secrets. Yeah, well, F them. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giving content in another way. Okay. <laughs> I got secrets. I put herpes in all my cans. Oh. So I know who's drinking. I, I thought you only put it's it in actually, half the cans. Actually, Dave, you did a great job on this one, but you missed the mark. <laughs> <laughs> a good job, but it's awful. It's nice. I didn't try it. I'm just, I'm joking. Uh, he sent me these bottles a few weeks, about a month ago, I think. And uh, So what's wrong with it, Sully? I, I think it's, uh, it's too dry. It's not in a can. It's dry. It's not in a can. Yeah. Uh, and it's... uh doesn't have your picture on it. It's a little phenolic. It's got kind of a odd ester going on. The okay. picture... The guy in the picture only has one chin. There is a small <laughs> child lifting a big melon, though, so that could there be... There is. Head. That's good. But I got to tell you, I got to give props out to uh, Bad Rock. Uh, he... Uh, 
he sent me uh, a four pack of 1050 Imperial Stout from Oscar Blues. And you want to see something weird, guys. We can't do this on the radio. <laughs> but uh, look at these bumps. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> watch this. This is what happens when you turn 40. Uh. <laughs> see? It doesn't work. Um, check this out. Out of a can, yeah. 1050 Imperial Stout in a can. From the Oscar weirdest Blues. shit you'll ever see in your life. Hey, wow. it looks like oil. That it's does like, look weird. Yeah. This coming beer, out of a can. This beer is amazing. It's a black, black looking stout coming out of a can. That's weird. The black, black cylinder. Out of a can. It tastes effing great. Really? Yeah. <laughs> man, you love those cans. <laughs> I'm all about the cans, man. <laughs> By the They're way, look at Bevo studying that book. Yeah. Speaking of cans. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Flip to the back. She's like, doesn't even care about what, the Imperial the Stout. Why don't you read some of it out loud? Listen, the wedding night's coming up. Gotta all be prepared. Yeah, y'all ready for that, Bevo, or what? <clears throat> Keep your weight on your legs. Slowly bend your knees. Push your breasts out. Give them a little shake. Who's a little Miss Naughty? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the book says? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a little Miss Naughty? <laughs> JP, I think. Uh, Pretty sure. So I get it. I get it. That's what you say to yourself as you do this. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be saying every <laughs> time I see someone on the pole. Yeah, it. Doc. What did you say to yourself like, who's when your you mama? were uh, rocking yeah. the pole? The first said, thing I said, I hope oh, I don't hurt myself. <laughs> and then the second uh, thing was, ah, oh, shit. Pins yeah. on your hips. <laughs> the third thing was, ouch. As he was hanging up there for like it seemed like eternity. Yeah. I think he's going to go down. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. Are there any more gifts to give or anything like that? I think we're done. Right. Is that good? Uh, I got off air stuff. I don't have show stuff to give him. I'm gonna give him a doesn't count. Hand job, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, back massage, you know. <laughs> Reach around. Oh, it's been sore lately. Yeah. <laughs> All the stuff he asked for. <laughs> now nah, we got some stuff for you. It's not on air stuff though. It's not funny or anything like that. So you know. So why even give it to him? It's a needle kit for your heroin addiction. <laughs> oh. But this is really weird. We're ending the show and it's still daylight out. Yeah. I love it. Is it? Yeah, it's great. I love the end part of it, but the start sucks. The noon start, forget about it. Stupid thing to do. I was ready for it. You weren't even even up yet, were you? Nah, baby. Now, you're a late riser. Yeah. Well, even the the thing is, though, even if I'm up, I'm not functional until at least 1 o'clock. Like, even when I went to brew with you, Doc, I I was up and I was there, but I'm useless till 1 o'clock, you know. So when you're up, you're not functional. Right. For a while. It's pretty much the case. Oh. Is dysfunctional? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your excuse. Who knows the difference anyway? My left hand. <laughs> uh, left hand. Oh, I was supposed to give a, a crazy bitch update real quick, wasn't I? Oh. Uh, I thought about not telling this story because I like to... Do mis- it. Come oh, on. Okay. okay thanks for coming out. Thank you for all the happy birthdays. <laughs> Roll the theme. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah, you want me to not... Uh, Go Pats. <laughs> Is there one? What happened? Something happened? It's not that. It the, the problem is another sighting. Crazy bitch showed up in daylight hours. That's what? what? That's the freaky part of this story. Did you even recognize and her? She came through the front door. Whoa. She didn't climb in the window or the neighbor's house. Wow. She came through the front door. Up this is, is true. Up is down. Black is white. Right is wrong. What's Bizarro happening? world. I'm outside working on my motorcycle out there, and this. <laughs> oh, the corner of his greasy eye. Man. I see this chick walking up, and I had a feeling. I'm like. Well, that's not one of Schumann's chicks, because she's ugly. Oh, uh, or you. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm True. thinking, I'm thinking that has to be, I'm thinking that's crazy bitch. What right did she there. say? Like, which one of you wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> that would have made for a good story. Or like Sasquatch, like. <laughs> yeah, she kind of came. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got, you got five minutes to give me your batting orders. Let's go. So I heard her dragging her foot as she passed me by. <laughs> And kind of grumbling. Uh, What's that smell? Uh, I could smell her coming. It smelled like Fisherman's Wharf. And uh, Uh, what? She had brought him a salmon sandwich. So mean. (laughs) See, because I thought I thought that was a crab cake. No, she brought him dinner. It was sushi. What? God, get your hands out of the gutter. So, so she had food. So here's what happened. She comes. She comes walking up. And and I realized as she's walking up who it is. So I turn away. I don't want to look at her because I like the mystery of not seeing her. You don't want to turn to stone? I don't want to know what she oh. looks like. <laughs> Beaver. 
I like thinking that she's this like 400 pound mong- <laughs> like mongoloid of a woman who just shows up in the dark and leaves before the light. This <laughs> leaves a slime trail. This giant. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. giant lumbering sn- a mistake of a woman. Yeah, so I slipped on her slime trail, and uh, so I'm it. I'm looking away, trying not to look at her, just hoping that she'll, she'll pass me by and just go knock on the door. But she talks to me. Oh jeez, oh. you have to engage her. She doesn't say much. She goes, "Is Chad here?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. And so I go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she just, co- I send her inside. Yeah, he's inside. So I had to look at her. I didn't make eye contact, but I did look at her. God, your eyes. <laughs> she's not the huge mess that you made her out to be. Oh, yeah. I mean, I she's not, that, you know, no, I mean, she's yeah. like a six pack. I would say. So, and here's how you know that Shat thinks she's a six pack too. So she shows up in the daylight hour. She goes inside. Holding a six pack. (laughs) Five minutes later, she comes right back out, gets in her car, and drives away. Was she angry? Uh, No. Uh, Not even angry. And I go, Shat. She happy? What happened? What was that about? And he's like, "Eh, I sent her away. Didn't want her. Wasn't ready. (laughs) She comes running out all fists and elbows. Shat's lying. He just. That was it. What? Dead. She walked in. Oh, she, what the it, it hell must, is going on? It must have been like a two-sentence conversation. Like, I imagine it went something like, hi, get what, out. Or, what are you doing yeah, here? It was like, well, oh, I thought you said come over. And I said, no, don't come over. <laughs> it was like, all right, you got to leave. Well, see ya. <laughs> Shat. See, Shat's You're like, like the nicest sort of like dude on earth except daddy. for her. He just I'm a cold hustler. Strong. He is a cold hustler. <laughs> Next time, bring me the hundies, bitch. <laughs> cold Shat, hustler you should be brewing. sending away, you know, something if you don't have a backup plan. I got a he, birthday wish for me. him. Yeah. He okay. does have a backup Will she plan. Come back for more. Oh, she'll be She's, back. Oh, she always comes back for yeah. more. I don't. What oh, she likes man. the abuse. That's yeah. why they call her the crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, Chad's yeah. currently holding his glass with his backup hand. <laughs> Playing. Matt Town, you're on the line. Rosie What's Pong. happening, brother? Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? It's hey. going good. What's the Happy word? Birthday, oh, hey. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Yeah, way to go, man. <laughs> way to go. <laughs> 3 huh? Oh, yeah, man. Big time. He'll be dead by morning. <laughs> All right. Yep. Hey, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, mm-hmm. you know, happy birthday and uh, good job um, doing all the producing. Yep. Uh, good job getting the new guests. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Thanks, man. Looking forward to Thanks for calling uh, in, man. 2008. Definitely. No, okay. definitely. Thanks Sweet. for calling in, man. Thanks, right. Matt Town. Where's he calling from? I don't know. Too late. Like Did he use a noun in that sentence? He sentence? actually appreciates what you do around here. That's show. cool, man. Yeah, at least somebody, somebody does. Somebody does. Yeah. 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 J- JP certainly doesn't. I, I, I hate your guts. <laughs> Douche. Yeah. yeah. JP, when do you get happy ever? When you leave. <laughs> man, you are angry today, I, too. I know. Isn't yeah, it man. great? I would appreciate what you did if I cared about any of the guests. Oh. Oh. But since I don't, oh. I, I don't have Understand what they're talking about? Or it chat like room. Blah 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 blah. You know, but I appreciate chat. If I knew what they were talking about, I would appreciate you. Canada <laughs> wrote so you know. today. Well, I can- got tons of Canada to go back to feedback. I'm about sure they hate me and my hatred uh, of Canada. One said, I don't even hate Canada. I like. Ca- I was drunk and mean. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you're a bad drunk. They all said to me, no, I was a hilarious drunk. <laughs> Canada will forgive you <laughs> if, if you sing Happy Birthday to Chat. <laughs> no. Right now, for us yeah, all, is not on that center stage. Uh, Bevo single-handedly starting a war between the wow. U.S. and Canada. Yeah. Now, this is supposed to be the peace. Force. I like Canada. Yeah. What's wrong with America's helmet? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it has little white bumps on it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What? Are we done here? Can yes. we go? Can, please, seriously. Let's no go, more calls? Uh, let's go Super Bowl party yeah. and Shat party. We're going to have a party in Shat's mouth a little later. Yeah. And, uh, and everybody's invited. Yeah. How are you enjoying that Planet everybody's of the Ogre? Everybody's going to come. It's fucking kick-ass. Man. Steph right. will yeah. kick your ass. It's it right. awesome. I hope everybody enjoyed the vulgarity today. We did it on purpose so that y'all lighten up a little bit. Let's yeah. relax. It's beer radio, people. Okay? Was there vulgarity? Yeah. I think this okay. whole show is going to be a part two. There's going to be no part one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not even going to post it. You're thing. dividing the shows up? <laughs> We're not even going to split That's it. not what I'm paying for. I did it go, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I do not like my message divided. I like my message to Uni- be unified. unified. Yes. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Look, Doc with a big word. <laughs> Look unified. at the big brain on Doc. Hey, I want to thank Doc's. Sully for bringing the uh, Heineken. You're thank quite you very welcome. much. Uh, JP for not much. FJP. Uh, <laughs> Bevo just for showing up. Yeah. Sorry I was so late. Yeah. You should be sorry. And so yeah. Sam won't be. He'll make it up. <laughs> yeah. And your and shirt the smog machine out. And your shirt button's a little too high. Should we let that? those go? 
She went to church. Radio, GP. after all. Yeah, no, but thanks church. to uh, everybody for calling in. I mean, everyone in the studio. You know, it's all love. Love you guys. So thank you. Feelings. Oh, thank you. Oh shoot. Oh, you don't want to shout out to crazy bitch. Feelings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to predict whether or not Crazy Bitch shows up in the middle of the night tonight? Does she know it's your birthday? It is my birthday. What's the over yeah. under? She's coming over. Because <laughs> here's what happens. Here's what happens. Shat, like, you know, he starts drinking and then, you know, he gets a little bored later and he, and he sends a text. Nobody's ever done and that. And that before. starts the whole yeah. thing. And so then. Speed yeah. text, he just hits one, one button and. <laughs> yeah. And, and then no. she can't read, so she just so, shows up. Yeah. You know, it's just her pocket vibrates and she shows up. Now there's a light on her Ooh. dashboard that goes off. <laughs> Does that mean I get a sandwich yeah. or I come over? That, that light is shaped like a penis. <laughs> to the she's crazy on, uh, bitch pole. No, yeah, no, she's no, on, no, she's no, on no, Shadar. No, 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 no. After everything Not radar, that you've said, Shadar. When we, if any of us ever act besides Justin, get to see this girl, we're going to think she's beautiful because she can't no. be that much of a mutant. She's not beautiful, dude. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> Justin Schumann, Schumann, did you here. see her? I saw her. And uh, what is your assessment <laughs> of uh, Crazy Bitch's appearance? Um, her appearance was such that 12-packer. <laughs> 12-pack, oh, he gives her. Oh, oh, flag on the play. Oh. <laughs> Man. Shet doesn't care. Or a growler of younger. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's, uh... Yeah, what do you happens to have, yeah. so... I think I'd sleep, Game with, on. I'd sleep with Tasty after a yeah. growler of younger. If I, if, I have, if I hadn't whacked off in three days, eight packer. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's getting out of hand. I feel dirty. <laughs> Why don't we get wow. Shumi to play us a song to yeah, get us out of here? I'd really love a song yeah, by Shumi. So Shumi can get Bevo to, uh, to play us out of here. Yeah. Hey, Shumi, can you play the to song sing. you played last night? Yeah. <laughs> I had Schumann something left. else to Schumann cover. And hey, Schumann's got a story for us, too, by the way, before the song or yeah. after. He does? He does from last night. Could we be done? He ran into a uh, a pro. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. A professional musician. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not it. Weren't you, like, hanging out with Metallica last night or something, Shuey? Yeah. He went can, to, we, can we get that story? He went or? to an industry party. He was hanging out. What's that dude's name? Or you want to play? What's that? Uh, it was... Uh, Ted Bundy. <laughs> it was... Uh, <laughs> He's dead. Oh. Robert... Uh, Robert, I think it's Robert Trujillo from Metallica. Yeah, the bass player guy. Yeah, yeah. You Trujillo? just were chilling with him. Well, um, the second bass. I was. Uh, I Told was, you she was a rock star. Yeah, uh, I was actually at a private party in Tiburon. Surprised, surprised Ooh, yeah, there. Ooh, yeah. I'm surprised that Sully didn't get invited to that. He's new money, so <laughs> well, I, he wouldn't have I, showed up. So you know, I know the white him. stripes. Schumann, I was wondering why you had that tuxedo. Oh yeah. You mean my Canadian tuxedo? <laughs> I so you can get G-jacket. into those, those fancy parties. <laughs> it's a G-jacket and a Canadian tuxedo? <laughs> G-jacket and jeans. It's a Canadian tuxedo. I'm <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Canada. Poor Canada. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> 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 but you know, in, or- yeah, in order for them to really get the joke, you have to say it in French too. La canon taxi a chien shack. All right, let me make sure I cover everything before you play, because I'm just going to have you take us out of here. Um, we are not on next week because what? it's Sammy's bachelor party. We got to take him to a bunch of hookers and strippers all weekend long. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a good time. Yeah. That's right. Strippers. Sorry, Bevo. What? I'm stripping for him. Don't I'm worry. not oh. back until after the wedding. Sweet. You, until also. after the wedding. That's a long time oh, from no. now. By the way, I never got... You don't got have one next week, and then my bachelorette party is the weekend after that, and oh. then the wedding. Okay. Yeah, I still never got an invitation. Yeah, sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, neither did I. Oh, oh I don't even I'll know where or when. I'll write it down. I'll be good. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I could convince I really my wife that's you. actually really happening. I'll Sam's and come to yours. So okay. they're having yeah. their uh, their reception in El Sobrante, and they in have... In Pinole. All right, even worse. They oh. have to have security. Oh. They have security at their security. reception. Yes, they do. Yeah. Why? <laughs> how, how ridiculous. How well, ghetto is that? Won't Jesus because keep everybody out? there's alcohol there, and it's at a senior center, and old people get what? scared. They have to have oh, security. Have what, are they going to they gonna wander out in their walkers eating a can of Sheba? No, I didn't, they no, don't and live I, there. Hold on a minute. I know that senior center. <laughs> 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 They're good people there. Yeah. <laughs> No, so we're going to play bingo place. at the reception or what? No. Uh. There's not actually going to be old people there, but there is a bingo sign in the... Uh, um, are they getting married? There is. In the hall <laughs> yeah. where we're having the reception, there is a bingo right, board or whatever. Right right above I, where I just the, love young people. Oh, yeah. Right married. above where the prune cake is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Play some bridge. I'm really trying to make this a nice affair. <laughs> Is it going to smell like old people no, in there? It Formaldehyde. I went in there and checked. That was one of the stipulations on whether or not. So it doesn't smell it. like smell Sully's like house. Old people. No. <laughs> it smells like formaldehyde in Kansas Sheba. <laughs> oh, in Polydent. 
Yeah. Uh, all right, so no show next week. We'll be back the week uh, after that. Uh, check out our store and our donations page. Visit our sponsors because they're good people and they uh, make this stuff happen for you. Click on those ads that rhyme with frugal because it's free. It doesn't even cost you anything. And then they send me a nice little check every now and then, and that's good too. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, buy Brew Your Own Magazine through us, which is a great magazine. And by the way, they're just cool people over there. Uh, so... You get a good magazine, and uh, if you subscribe through us, then it also, uh, you know, they give a little kickback, so that's a cool thing to do. Sign up for the AHA, yada, yada, yada. I think that's it. Uh, Shimon. Oh, well, Chad wants me to tell the Metallica story. <laughs> you already told it, I thought. No. No, they got they off on a tangent you about tuxedos. It's yeah. basically that you were hanging out with the guy from Metallica, right? No, Robert Trujillo. All right, that's it. You told the freaking story. No, no. No. There's, there's more than that? No, there's a reach around involved. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go on. He looked at me. Have, have you guys seen some kind of monster? Who's seen that? Yes. Yeah. Never, never saw it. Sully. Oh man, it's great. Is Every it from like 1943? Every time I'm in no, the it's like 2002 or something. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the bass player guy. I saw him there. Uh huh. And uh, and I played uh, at the vocal coach who sings. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Come on, tell it. One, two. So basically, the bass player Metallica saw me play guitar. Came up to me. We bumped shoulders, and he looks at me. He's like. You sound good, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in. Yeah, so with that. All right, good job. Happy birthday, Chad. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, Shimon, take it away. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, Jesus. How was I supposed I should just to sing. know? You want to sing with him? Do no. backups. Yeah, do something wasn't right here. Oh, baby, baby. I shouldn't have let you go. Play that new tambourine, Sully. And now you ride a sign to show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now it's because my loneliness is killing me. And I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, shaddy, shaddy, <laughs> the reason I breathe is you. That's disgusting. Gay. You got a crazy bitch now. Oh, shaddy, shaddy, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. I believe that. That she wouldn't do to you <laughs> So show me How you want it to be Tell me shaddy Cause I need to know Now it's because My loneliness Is killing me And I I must confess Last to believe Still believe When I'm not with Shad I lose my mind Give me a sign Pound my colon one more time <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Shay. Oh my god <laughs> And an astro like good barley wine Chocolate porter, cherry stout Don't you know what I am talking about Don't you give me that American crude For the one of real homebrew Homebrew, don't you really love it? Homebrew, can't get enough of it Homebrew, it blows my mind. I love homebrew all the time. Yeah, I think I have me. Well, I have the one right now.
got a bird to crew, boy, they want to 